Welcome to the 44 session three. Last time we uh, left off on quite a cliffhanger. We uh, had the adventurers go into a prison in order to speak with some prisoners, but that resulted in uh, them being stuck there while there appears to be some sort of riot occurring. Oh, this ain't going to be good. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a bit rough. In fact, let me uh take you to the Roll20 map that I have prepared for this. Oh, we're finally going to know how many uh prisoners there are. Oh, my lord. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh my lord. Which one? You start on the left side. Okay. That's a lot. Did you want us to move our tokens in? Mm-hmm. Where should I talk to B, I think? Uh, it's, where, it's where you would probably stand. So you get to pick as long as it's on this left side coming into the corridor. Oh, that's right. I forgot my token. Oh, darn it. Um, I think I have a token made, actually. I need to look. Mm-hmm. Shoes. Is this... Oh, darn it. it it's not going to let me. It's not going to let me both. I see it. It works. What? Your token on there. Oh, I meant the custom one I made. It wouldn't let me post it. Yeah, I'm trying to open it, but it's just... You know, it's, I can't exactly put it in there. Nope. So one won't let me. I'll try adding the picture. Um, remove this and post a token. This one. I hope this works. There we go. Does that work? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you've just got to put it on your character sheet, and then you can use it in the game. I, I did. Okay, cool. Then drag the uh, the name. There you are. Okay, then. Let's uh, let's first uh, lay down some of what's happened here. These guards currently uh, are trying to uh, hold the line against a couple of these prisoners. The other prisoners are surrounding the area that you are currently in. You see those icons on some of them? Yeah. These are used to signify their current uh, equipment. Remember when the warden said that a lot of the prisoners know how to create weaponry out of scrap materials? Oh, yeah. Remember that. I do remember that, yes. Armed and dangerous, right. Yeah. The ones with the fist icon on the top right of their token, they have the equivalent of short swords. Can we tell from this distance what they might have made them out of? They look like they're made by thin they're made with thin sheets of metal. Connected okay. to some, they're connected to other pieces of metal. It looks like uh, it might have been created through things that were smuggled inside. That's decently horrifying. Indeed. Some of them have a different icon. This is used to signify that they have somehow created makeshift crossbows, which will function as light crossbows. I would be oh my god! surprised they haven't exploded after one use. Yeah, well, these prisoners look kind of smart. Now you have to fight them. Roll initiative. Us? Mm hmm. I did not roll well. Oh my god, I actually. Isaac, no! Dear boy. Wow, I got in that one. Oof. 
I forgot to start the talk when doing that. Okay, then. I'm going to start recording this. Fabulous. All right. All right. Recording starts in three, two, one. Now. Okay. Good. Let's see here. Let's take a look at the current current order. Starting off, we have you, Kalis. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I'm looking at this wrong. Ian? Yes? It's your go. Fabulous. Okay, so, for my bonus action, I'm gonna add a blade song for the sake of the... I don't your, know what it sounds like. Your audio is cutting in and out. Really? Dan, mm -hmm. Dan, turn that slider down a little bit to the left. It's not picking up all of your words. Okay. Yeah, that better? Hmm. Yeah, you can hear me now? Mm hmm Okay, good. So, I'm going to activate my Blade song for the first time. I'll have to figure out what that sounds like in the future. But, and this is going to be my bonus action, so this will actually boost my... AC and movements. Is there a specific uh, circle that you wanted to be my temporary armor class? Hmm. I just wanted to double check for future reference. Let me know what it is. Um. Currently, my blue one is currently my temporary armor class with the blade song up. Mm hmm. Okay. And then with my action, uh, I will move up here first of all, and okay. I'll save that for later. I think I will just firebolt this lad right. This one. He seems decently vulnerable. Mm hmm. Hmm. Twelve? Wow. Wow. Yeah. yeah, twelve. Twelve hits. Wonderful. And. We'll take nine fire damage. Oh, he looks really hurt. Ha <laughs> ha! Success! And that is my turn. Alright then, Revel, let's your go. Alright. Um, Revel uh, has a look at the, the, the escaped prisoners and um, uh, the party around her, and she says, uh, um, wh what are we doing here, guys? Are we going for the kill or what? One of the guards... One of the guards begins to speak. Mm -hmm. You could... You might be able to kill them, but we'd rather you not. We need them alive. All right, fair enough. And uh, she'll use, let's see, it was 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Um, she'll move her full distance and um, in doing so, uh, um, draw her uh, the, the sword, or sorry, this this new um, new battle axe she's got and uh, the shield in her left arm and um, uh, hold an action to uh, make a melee swing at any enemy that comes within reach. Mm-hmm. Good. And then ends her turn. Chalice. Uh, I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna move up uh, right here next to Revel, and then I will um, take the uh, dodge action. Hmm. Okay then. It's the guards that go, and so they're going to begin moving, or at least the ones next to you are. They're not close enough at the moment to attack in melee, so they're going to dash.
With that, they are going to stand their guard. The ones on the right here are going to actually attack some of these prisoners. Three of them will attack the one on the bottom. The one at the top will attack the one that he can actually reach. Let's begin. First hit. That is a that is a sixteen, which hits the armor class of prisoner for seven damage. Who? Mm-hmm. And now the next guard I'm going to attack as well. 21 to hit for 2 damage. The third misses. The fourth one attacks the one at the top and misses. Now we go to the prisoner. Let's start with the counterattack for these two prisoners attacking the guards. The first one is going to attack. I'm going to randomize it. Hmm. He attacks this one. He got a total of 20 to hit. And he deals 5 damage. The second thug attacks this one. And misses. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot that uh, these ones have two attacks each. So let's say that that was first, the first of them. The second one will make two attacks. Missed for the first one. And got a 20 for the second one. And dealt five damage. As for these other prisoners, they will begin attacking the guards closest to them. This one attacks this guard. He misses. This one attacks the other one. And... Hmm. Looks like he hits. For four damage. Ooh. <laughs> this one here is going to help out this one. It's going to attack this guard. Ah. Just barely hits with the first attack. For 7 damage. Second attack he makes. Gets a 22. For 8 damage. That guard is knocked out. Uh oh. That's not good. The thug next to him decides to take a swing at the other one. Heist was a 23, so that definitely hits for 7 damage.
That's a decent amount of damage. Mm -hmm. This guard looks terrified as the prisoner begins to swing again. It's a 21 for 5 damage, and he gets knocked out too. Oh, ho, 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 crap. This... this one over here... ...begins... He comes over here to help out these prisoners with the current guard situation. He attacks the injured one. Ooh hoo hoo! He gets a natural 20. Oh, nice. Yeah, six damage. He actually takes out a guard. He just runs in, slashes one of the guards, and said guard just falls over. This one here actually sees the five of you. He senses a new threat, and he's going to go for it. He uh, tries to attack Revel, the closest one, but fails. Moving on. That's what happens when you get the crossbar a newspaper? <laughs> <laughs> the other one with a crossbow will attack the injured guard closest. Uh, and just barely misses. With that, it's Trance's turn. I don't know if Trance is back. Uh, but Trance should be here. Marco. She wanted to move up uh, beside the others. Bjorkus. BRB, I'll be moving beside the others. Well, put that up there like a while ago. No one noticed it. I just came back for a few seconds. <laughs> I noticed. Jesus Christ, you guys. <laughs> I noticed. <laughs> what would you like to do? Oh, I can't get in range with anyone. I think I'm gonna go here and take the dodge action. No, I'm gonna say, yeah, I think I'll stand here and take the dodge action. That's literally all I can do at the moment. It's Isaac's turn, then. Oh boy. Okay. Oh no, these guys look pretty bad. I'm embarrassed. Do what I can to beat them. He kind of just, like, doesn't care. <laughs> He's that. Okay, so, um... Uh, I get 30 feet of, of movement, right? Mm-hmm. I don't remember how, how much that is. Oops. Um... Oh yeah, it was just... Each square is five, if that helps you. Thing. There we go. Because I go to one of these spots. I don't want to. So I'm gonna have him move over to here. And I'm gonna have him do use his cantrip, vicious mockery, on one of one of the um um on one of the Prisoners, yeah. I couldn't find the word. Okay, so. Which yeah. one? Um, oh yeah. Who's gonna do it with the closest one? Um, I think maybe this one. Okay then. I'm gonna act it out. Hey you! After this, you're gonna be behind bars again because you're ugly! <laughs> yeah, he failed that. Oh! <laughs> Amazing. A single tear runs down his cheek. You really, you really got him. You, you got him in his feelings. Congratulations, you ass. Maybe Smoke gets more than that. Such roll a, a Roll a d4. Uh, I know, that, that's what I was gonna do. <laughs> Three. 
Alright, that's... How about Ian? It's Ian's turn now. Alrighty, um... What I'm gonna do is, I will move up... 5, 10, 20, 25, 30. And what I'm gonna do is... In this little spot on the floor, I am going to cast... Grease. Oh! Okay, then. So now it's a greasy, greasy floor. Alright, and... I suppose we could, uh... Let's see, I'm going to draw something on the map to signify that. I had a really tough time choosing whether I wanted to use my last slot for Grease or Catapult, but I figured that disabling as many as possible would be a bit better for us. I'm still on the launch Isaac Adam plan. That's... That's Why? scary. Not... <laughs> Please don't. Oh, this, is, this is perfect. Don't worry. Phase 2 of the plan will come on my next turn. And four by bonus action. Okay, um, wait, wait, wait. First, uh, these guys n need to make a dex save. They do, actually, that's true. Let's start with the first thug. Fails. He falls prone. This guy... He is prone. Let's start with this... And... Fails is also prone. This guy succeeds and the other thug fails. Love it. Mm -hmm. What next? Uh, I don't really have anything that I can do for my bonus action right now. So that'll just be my turn for the time being. Revel. The shaded area is the that's the size of the grease puddle. Uh, okay. Um. Then uh, let's see. Um. Uh, Revel will kind of look here. Five, ten, fifteen, seven. Ah, uh, Ian, and she's gonna take a step into it. <laughs> and uh, I guess I need to make a dexterity check to see if I fall. Is that correct? Uh huh. That is an eight. Yep, you fall. But it's okay. Excellent. You you can get back up. All right. I am so right. sorry. Um, I, I don't actually think I can. I don't have enough movement left. Oh. I've used 20 out of my 30. Yeah, then you can't get up. Can I make an attack while prone with disadvantage? Yes. Okay. This rebel starts slipping around. She's oh god, fucking her claws are just kind of scraping on the on the stones. But she swings her her new axe at this uh um. Uh, prisoner in front of her anyways she she was trying to hit with you know either the haft of it or the the flat side of the axe head to not deal lethal damage but we'll see that's a 10 yeah that doesn't hit all right an unfortunate miss Kalis, it's your go okay so uh, i'm just gonna move forward and use the dodge action uh, because I can no longer get in melee to do any kind of... Yeah. Uh, how long is this grease going to last? Um, according... Holy according to the... Oh. Okay, yeah, I can't really say that, because uh, you wouldn't know. Yeah. So, uh, I'm just going to stand here and block for people in range, and I'll just use the dog dodge action. That's 5, 10, 15, 20. Like right there. Fair enough. Now we have the guards again. They're going to attack the one that's not prone but is in the grease. Hmm. The first one missed. Ah, the second one hit. Dealt 4 damage. And they have successfully knocked out one of the bandits. 
if you're confused by the fact that I'm using the terms bandits and thugs, I'm referring to the stat blocks I'm using for each individual prisoner. Oh, I see. Now, as for these guards, this one's going to attack the bandit. And that's a 13 to hit for 2 damage. Hard making some major headway. The two at the top are going to attack the thug at the top. The first one missed. And the second one hit for 2 damage. Now it's the prisoners' go. Well, at this point... These guys are gonna try and get back up. And they do with half their movement. Now... Dan, could you refresh my memory on how Grease works exactly? Is it, uh... At the end of their turn? Uh, according to the spell description... A creature that ends, enters the area, or it ends its turn there. Yes, they need- at the end of its turn, they make the deck save, or fall prone. Oh. I guess it would be like, they have their movement, and then they just need to make sure they don't fall. Mm-hmm. This one's going to get out of the grease, and end up near Kalis. The other one is going to back him up. Reluctantly, but still. This one's going to move. As for this uh, prisoner here with the crossbow, he is going to attack the wounded guard next to him. That's a 19 to hit. For 8 damage! and that successfully kills a guard. The makeshift crew. The makeshift bolt somehow goes through the armor and kills him. Sure we're not allowed to kill him. I mean, you can. You can use as much ranged weaponry as you want. As for uh, another one of the the bandits, this one, he swings at the nearest guard and misses. The second one with the crossbow is going to attack Revel. That's a 13 to hit. It doesn't hit. Uh, it does not hit. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I guess since I'm prone, they would have disadvantage, too. That's that's a bonus, but didn't hit anyway, so... Oh, yeah, he didn't. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Whatever. Now, as for, uh, the ones attacking these guards on the right of the map, the bandit is going to attack the one closest to him and gets a net one. Now, the first thug is going to attack the wounded guard and misses. Second attack he gets, also misses. The second thug is going to try to do the same. Gets a 23 for 8 damage. That takes out another one of the guards. And now he's going to attack next one and misses. Wait a minute. No, he wouldn't get advantage on that. Never mind. Whatever, he missed. Now these thugs that are surrounding Kalos, they're going to take their swings as well. 17 to hit. That's going to hit for 8 damage. 
Kalis, are you there? I, I muted myself. Uh, I have. I took the dodge action. Did you put him at disadvantage? Oh. Hmm. Well, that's gonna cancel it out and make it normal. Let me just roll again. Fourteen. Uh, that misses. Mm-hmm. And he's going to attack again. Twenty-three. For three damage. Tickles. Haha, ha, be as boastful as you want. The second one's attacking you for... And that hits for seven damage. Which one is attacking? Mm, currently this one. Okay. Yeah, seven. This one also has advantage oh. for the next roll. Uh, what do they have sorry. advantage from? Uh, thugs have hack tactics. Oh, okay. Natural 20. Eight damage. I'm down. Okay then. Trance? Okay, you say you're down? Yep. I'm going to cure wounds, Kalis. Mm-hmm. There you go, there's five health for you. And, uh... Oh, I can't make a check now, can I? No, I can't. Shit. I can't do anything to move Kalis out of the way, can I? I can't, like, switch positions with him. Part of my movement. Well, uh, you'd be provoking opportunity attacks if you, uh. If it's involuntary movement, then it wouldn't provoke an opportunity attack. Oh, I'm talking about you next to that thug. I still have an advantage on attack. I'll swap places with Kayla, so I'm in between these two guards. These two thugs. Okay, then. Yes, there you go. He, he took care of it. It's Isaac's turn again. Alright, um... What do I do? Okay, so I'm going to have... Let's see... I'm thinking that maybe he'll use a human word. On, uh... What's her name again? Uh, I'm trying to remember. The one that Kaleth? Kaleth, yes. Yes, um, healing word. So I can do 1d4 plus my spell casting modifier, which is what again? If, uh, if you go onto your um, uh, your sheet, right there in the middle, if you just click the word uh, on the spell, uh, it'll oh. cast it for you. Okay. That's where I clicked it, but it didn't do anything. Again. And then there'll be a pop-up for what level you want to cast it at, so look for that pop-up. Oh, okay. That'll do. Seven hit points. Mm-hmm. Nice. Have you guys heard of the god Lithander? Yes. That's one of my spell slots, so... What about, uh... What about Ian? Alrighty. Now... This guy right here, in front of me, uh, I'm just gonna firebolt him. See mm -hmm. what happens. Which hopefully should do something fun. That did something very fun. Um, we'll take seven fire damage. Yeah, that looks like it hurts. Excellent. Now it's Rebels go. 
All right. Uh, Revel will use, um, she'll swear and null and use half her movement to stand up. And then, um, uh, assess the situation. Uh, uh, and she'll, um, she'll step over to this one. And, um, as she's moving, she, um, sticks her thumb into her mouth and with these big null teeth, uh, takes a, a bite, pierces her thumb, uh, draws a little blood, and um, runs it along the blade of the axe. And as as the blood that coats the blade, it uh, just turns into fire and just blazing from the end of the weapon. Um, and takes uh, a swing with that axe uh, against this thug. All right, roll to hit. She's activated her right of the flame. Oh, come on. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> Revel, you're the worst. Yep. Okay, uh, I'm going to um what is it? Oh, I'm gonna use bless. And I'm gonna put it on Revel, myself, and um uh, uh Lady Trance. Mm-hmm. Thank you. As for the remaining guards, they are going to try to uh, do the best they can. This one here is going to attack the bandit next to it. Uh, it's an 18 to hit for 6 damage. That bandit is looking bloodied. As for the remaining two, the one at the bottom here will attack the bandit. 16 to hit for 6 damage. That bandit is also looking bloody. This one is going to attack the thug next to it. It's a 12 to hit. Deals 3 damage. Does the thug lead his dex to avoid slipping on the grease? Yes. Okay, I was making sure I don't... I was, I was making sure, like... Did, did he get rolled or something? I don't remember. Yes. I rolled. Don't worry. That was Craig. Craig. Uh, and you're back. Hello! I dropped faces on Ian. <laughs> I'm sorry, did... Are you saying that Craig timed out? No, 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 I... I thought he did, but it was just Ian. Oh, yeah, that was me. Sorry about that. Whatever. Uh, the guards are done. And it looks like Rian... Enforcements may arrive. You hear a uh, you hear a group of people approaching, and the prisoners are going again. The bandit next to the lone guard is going to attack and miss. Crossbow guy up here is going to shoot at this guard. And also miss. The other one with the crossbow is going to attack the same guard, I'd say. And succeed. Uh, 22 to hit. For 9 damage. See, that's pretty good damage. Probably bad for us, but pretty good. Mm-hmm. The bandit attacking the other guard hits a 21 for 7 damage. Jeez. Bottom thug attacks that same guard and misses with the first hit and hits with the second for 3 damage. That guard is on his last leg. The other one attacks the top guard. Misses for the first one. Misses for the second one. 
No, the guards surrounding you two. They are going to try to uh, do their best, but looks like things are getting rough for them because they're right next to a bunch of enemies. Plus, one of them's still in the grease. So the one at the top here is going to attack Lady Trance. With this advantage, have you done that yet? What? There's advantage because you didn't did you do that yet? Because I'm vicious mockery. That was the last turn. I was just making sure because you didn't even mention it. That's all. Anyways, damn, I forgot what the first roll was. Sorry about that. Hmm. The first hit misses. Second hit misses as well. Woo! The second one also attacks you though. Ten. And misses with the first hit. Ooh. Misses with the second one. Oh yeah, you can hit me. I'm not gonna say that because I were to die next. Also the the one in the grease succeeds again. It's your go. I'm going to hit the one in the grease. Um, two nineteens. Mm-hmm. <laughs> seven bludgeoning damage. All right. Good job. Oops. Sorry, I. Sorry, on my taskbar, sometimes I click something by mistake. Whatever. Now that you're done, it's now Isaac's turn again. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Isaac's kind of just out of place right now, it feels like. Um, let's see, what's he gonna do? Well, I got only two spell slots, so I'm gonna save those. So I'm gonna use my bonus action because I get I get one of those because of bardic stuff uh, to give a bardic inspiration to somebody. Um, probably Treants. That's uh, my no, bar. Give it to Revel. He can out damage me. <laughs> okay. Well, whoever wants wants the most, I guess. Revel. Oh, you wouldn't know. You decide. I okay. I decide. I I give it to Treants because she's. Because she's surrounded. That's uh, my bonus action, and I'm going to use my regular action to do another vicious mockery. This time to the one in the grease. Hmm. Okay, let's see. He fails. Of course. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you like slipping on stuff, don't you? Oh, too bad you're going to be locked in bars for the rest of your life. Uh, see you next fall. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> and mic drop. All right. Oh. Like Max, nice. Good stuff. It's the top of the initiative right now. Brilliant. And... Mm-hmm. And at this point some reinforcements begin to arrive. That's a very good sign. They'll be going at the same count as the rest of the guards. And now it's Ian's turn again. Wonderful. Because I... I have a plan. Oh no. <laughs> I'm just wondering... Could I perhaps use firebolts to ignite the grease and trap all of the rioting prisoners between the fire and the guards? Pretty sure that's not how that spell works. Damn it. Never mind then. It's it's magic no. grease. It doesn't work it's like that. Magic grease. Okay. Well, I'm in any case, explain shit. Of course. <laughs> if I may say as well, grease fires are a bitch to put out. So. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta smother it, man. That's fine. Yeah. Well, in any case, 
Uh, I guess what I'll do then is well, I'll use five more feet of movement, step forward, and I will firebolt that man's right there. Mm-hmm. So far, that's been that's been going pretty well. I I can't wait until higher levels when I can just signature spell and not use slots. Oh. Oh, Ooh. that is. Oh. That's, that's a good sign. Yeah, uh, that misses. That means it's Rebel's turn now. Oof. Alright. The levels are tough. Um, Rebel will uh, put a snarl at the, the thug in front of her. Say, Hold still! And swing her axe at him again. This flaming axe. She's kind of forgotten about the whole not killing them thing. It, it, and all it took was, you know, one and a half rounds. That is okay. Um, with Bless 25. Thank mm -hmm. you, Rebel. Bless. Mm -hmm. That deals nine slashing and three fire damage. Wow, that that bloodies the thug. Excellent. That means it's your turn again, Kalis. Okay, I'm going to use uh, Word of Radiance. It's a 13 con save. Yeah, that or... exceeds. Does that hit home? Dang. That's a sec. Um, and. Um, for my bonus action. Uh, does anybody need healing? Can I see that? Mm. Besides you? Not, is, yeah, is it just me? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll hold off for now. <laughs> Get out of there! You're too close to the battle. That's true. I will, uh, I'll take an opportunity attack. I'd have to disengage. Okay, then. But, uh, yeah. Um... Uh, yeah. I'm not gonna be moving. That. Wait, you're taking an opportunity attack, but you're not moving. No, no, I, I was just explaining why I'm not moving. I'm sorry. Okay then. You would have missed anyhow. All right. Well, now I'm moving. In okay, that case. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and move on to the next turn. It's the guards' turn again. This one is attacking the bandit again. And hits. 21. 3 damage. The bandit is still up. I'm going to move on to these uh, ones at the top soon. But for now, I'm going to finish up over here at the right. The one at the bottom hits the bandit again. 18. 5 damage. That bandit is down. Guard here is going to attack Thug next to him and miss. These ones at the top are starting to move. Three, four, five, six. These ones do not look happy at the current situation and they start throwing their spears. First one. First one misses. Second one hits. Deals five damage to the nearby bandit. Thirteen. Two. And finally the last one. That uh, barely hits for four damage, and that actually kills a bandit. It looks like these guards either received different orders or simply threw with going for non-lethal. As for these prisoners that are remaining, the one with the crossbow is going to attack Ian. Ha, he can try. 13. Ha, he can miss. Mm. He, he does not look happy. I feel pretty good, though. Mm-hmm. And now... Oh, the bandit that attacked the guard. <laughs> he got a natural 20. And that oh. takes... 
that takes out this guard no matter what. That is unfortunate. Okay. Let's go with this thug here attacking the guard. Hits. Seven damage, and that guard is down. This one is going to attack, but since that thug is now moving over here, he will now get advantage. First hit. First uh, misses. Sorry. I misspoke. Oh. Second one's a natural 20. 13 damage. Oh, stop killing them. They have families. Yeah, I'm but sure the guard the guards did too. Ooh. Both are expendable, don't worry. Oh! <laughs> the one the Greeks that got hit. <laughs> the one the Greeks that got hit by Vicious Mockery will attack first. Uh, cancels out the disadvantage, so that's 20. Ah, uh, can't do anything against that, though. So. 5. Wings again. 15. Okay. AC is 17. Mm hmm. The second one will attack you as well. Misses. And hits. So what's the control? Uh, it's a, it was a 21. And that deals 7 uh, damage. Uh, the inspiration, you can't add the inspiration to the, uh, to the AC, do you? No. No. So yeah, no, I'm taking, I'm taking how much damage? 7. We'll take that healing now. Yeah. Well, it's your turn. Attack the guy in front of me. Which one? Uh, the one in the grease. Okay, then. Six damage. Wait a minute, let me... He, uh... Succeeds again. Unless, uh, the DC's higher than 13. I don't think he can be any higher than 13. I don't think it's possible. Uh... Mm. Not with this moment... Yeah, at this moment in time, it can't be higher. The thug now looks bloodied. And now it's Isaac's go. Well, okay then. <laughs> Isaac has been contributing somewhat. <laughs> Help me! <laughs> who, who, who is he here that coming from? Trayance is in pain. All right, so you do what you want. Ignore me. <laughs> Ignore oh. her. Her <laughs> cries for help. <laughs> Ignore my screams. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to think. <laughs> okay, so I already gave her bark inspiration. So <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <Think>, damn it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna use I might as well. Uh healing word on uh Treons. That's gonna be another spell slot. Oh. And so I just quick the thing in my cheat. Word. That's seven health right there. Nice. And I use my bonus action to give another uh, bark inspiration this time to uh, this guy. Rebel. All right. You can't physically miss now. It's impossible. Amazing. Awesome. Do do not do not tempt fate, especially when it comes to Rebel's attack rolls. 
<laughs> Ooh. <laughs> what do you have to roll? Unfortunately, I don't know if you could do that, because healing word is a bonus action as well. It, what is? Uh, it's a... Uh, yeah, healing word's a, a bonus action. As, as much as I want the inspiration, because Revel's aim is awful. <laughs> You can oh, do yeah. bonus actions as an action. You just can't do actions as bonus actions. Oh, okay, good. That, that's, that was hoping to do that. Yeah, so you can have the inspiration and the healing word going. Okay, then that's what I wanted to do. Ian? Yes. I am going to do my oldest and noblest of wizard traditions, and I'm going to fire bolts at this lad here, because I don't like his attitude. He dodged it the last time. I don't appreciate it. Nice. Oh, thank the lord. <laughs> and allow this to be the most non-lethal firewalls you've ever seen. Seven damage. He just explodes. No, it bloodies him. He non-lethally explodes. <laughs> yeah, no, he's bloody. Um, and yeah, that'll be my that'll be my turn. I need bonus action attacks. Mm -hmm. Revel. All right. Then um, yeah, we'll continue my rampage against this man in front of me. Um, and take another swing with the axe. This flaming battle axe. Mm -hmm. With bless 19. Mm -hmm. All right. For 10 total damage. How do you do it? Um, Violently. <laughs> gonna bring the bring the axe down in his clavicle and uh, uh, dig in pretty maybe dig in a little deeper than I expected and then the the fire just kind of cauterizes the wound around it. Just be glad that uh, you know the guards saw it. Okay, Isaac saw it. But they, they might they might see his corpse, but uh, um, uh, would you DM? Would you allow me to occupy this space where his corpse is now? Or um... yes. Okay, then. Um, yeah, just like back with the troglodytes, you see Rebel start to get really excited. Ian, you can see her tail wagon uh, behind her, <laughs> underneath the cloak. And she leaps no. forward a step oh. and bites this man with her bonus oh. action, uh, the rampage trait. Why must gnolls be so adorable? Gnolls are unnecessarily violent and they're adorable. <laughs> 19. Mm -hmm. um, she does not have fire on her teeth, so that'll be regular damage. Um... That's a lot. Why, why don't you have fire on your teeth? This is... What? This is an outrage. That is a lot. Um, yeah, eight piercing damage. Ooh. To this man in the grease. I think... I, my understanding of Bless is that it stays up until concentration is lost, or... What is it? A minute, I think, goes by? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So okay. ten turns. Kalis? Um, I have my shield on. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay, so I'm going to move here, and then I'm going to... Uh, if you do that, you'll have to make a deck save. It's uh, when, when I end my turn, right? No, when you enter for the first time on a turn or end. Oh, okay. Can I take that back then? Mm-hmm. All right. So I was right here. Um, so in this case, I don't want to cast any more spells. I'm going to... Uh, uh, I'm just going to move here and take the dodge action. Actually, can I help Revel in some way? Or like, hair? Oh, no, I can't super away. Yeah, I'll just dodge action. Mm-hmm. The guards up here are going to start moving up once more. That formation is terrifying. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ones close to the bandit are going to start attacking. Starting with the first one, which hits for four damage. That takes him down. The other three now lacking in a good target 
they're going to start throwing spears at this guy. First one hits for six damage. Oops. Yeah, that, that takes him down. As for the other one, the, the other two, uh, they now have to switch targets. So they decide to... They decide to attack this one. They get disadvantage because uh, it's over 20 feet. But that first one's an 11, which hits for 7 damage, taking him down. Now, the remaining two prisoners, they start booking it. They see that it's a losing battle. So they are going to run off the map. Don't get very far if they're in a prison. Mm-hmm. So with that, the combat is over. Well, they ran away before I could try to convert them, man. I was going to tell them about Luthander and, you know, how he brings life into the world. And now they're gone. We should probably chase after them. I most likely. Are they within 90 feet? Yeah, I want to chase. Let's get them. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> oh, no. You've literally just had them run away from the super excited puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but uh, Quill, are they were they within ninety feet when they are uh, after they ran? No. Damn it! No ankle shot. Uh, can you just spell the grease? Oh, oh yeah, I can do that. I think. Thank you. Can, can you I don't know. Do can, can I do that? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Dispelled. It's gone. Yeah, he activated his black hole and sucked up the grease into it. <laughs> Rebel takes a few steps, like, uh, down, you know, following the prisoners, but uh, they're long gone at this point, so she stops and... <sighs> Is there any guard oh, no. that need medical attention that are still, like, conscious or, or I guess, alive? Some of the guards begin to uh, pull out some bandages in order to uh, attempt to stabilize some of the guards that went down. I'm going to cast uh, Spare the Dying and I'll do any kind of medical treatment I can for them. Hmm. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Hmm. How many of you were injured? I don't believe any of us got injured. That was that much. I spit out blood. I think we're all fine. Oh. I got hit a little bit. Hmm. I'm good. The only injury you see on Rebel is a bleeding hand, but it's good. Okay. Um... Rebel, why is that blood coming out of your mouth? Oh, I, I definitely bit that guy. It was like right in front of you. I'm pretty sure it's his. She like licks her chops and like try to get it off her off her muzzle. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, do you want me to get that? Right. Um, <laughs> do you want me to get that for you? Uh, no. Why? I'm good. No, just just, just asking. Dude, get this grease off my cloak. This is like I totally fell in it. <laughs> I press to digitate the grease away. <laughs> Mr. Clean Magic Eraser strikes again. <laughs> that is a really useful card. You got rid of all the grease. Card. Oh, it's perfect. At this point, my wizard signature spell is going to be press to digitation. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like it. <laughs> okay, uh. So, uh. What now? Um. 
Uh, well, I mean, they they didn't seem magical, did they? Like it was like they weren't. Were they enhanced through they magical means? The uh, spell. They were not. On them? Okay. Well, we need to figure out how they got out, and we need to alert more guards to be on the lookout. There was two that escaped, right? Hmm. Two ran off. Okay. But Let's uh. Pursue. All right, you can try to pursue them, but uh, you'll notice that they're long gone. Oh. Well, I'll be, uh, I guess I'll ask you guys, like, hey, this place is a maze. Like, where, 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 where should we go? Hmm. Follow us. We'll escort you out. We'd rather not have you uh, dealing with the current riot. Oh, how is a riot? It? Oh, sorry. I was going to be in character for a second. No, go ahead. Uh, I was. I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, no, that's fine. I was just asking the guard if, that the, if there was a riot, that the entire prison's having a riot right now. Hmm. A lot of the prisoners are out of their cells. I don't know. We don't. None of us know how they just opened up their cells, but. They just started attacking the guards and trying to escape. Yeah, don't you think that's a little weird? I mean, of course it is. Investigate a breakout. Do you want our help? Hmm, that would be great. But uh, are you in the best of shape? I don't think so. I'm good. <laughs> Purple looks around at the others. I'm just fine. I didn't get hurt one bit. <laughs> oh, I'm fine. This is merely a flesh wound. I got hit a few yeah, times. We can provide a healing potion if uh, any of you are injured enough. I'm pointing to Chaos. I'll take that. Thank you, sir. Uh, are you sure your guys aren't going to need this? Mm. You need it as much as we do. Awesome. Is it just the base one? It's like 4 yeah. plus 4 or something? 2D, 2D4 plus 2. Nice. Yeah, we're not quite at the point where that becomes too little. We're, we're, we're still, you know, on our way. We're, we're working on it. The guards, next time. the guards escort you to the entrance, and one of the guards... One guard approaches them. Hey, what the hell is going on? One of the, what is the prison guards begins to respond. Hmm. There was a break in. We're not sure how it happened. Well, a lot of the prisoners are actually rampaging through the bazaar. What the hell's up with that? They're rampaging through the bazaar. Yeah, they're stealing things. What the hell are you gonna do about it? Look, there are some prisoners in there that haven't been dealt with yet. We're going to have to deal with them before we can help what's going on at the, at the bazaar. The guard looks at the party. Uh, are you a member of the guard? Uh, Miss, uh, Miss Tiefling, sir? Miss? No, it's one of the guards. Well, what about what about the rest of you? Uh, what about uh, he points to Revel? You? Are you? Uh, we can be, right? She looks around at the others. I mean, kind of like we're contractors. I, uh, technically, technically, we were brought in to assist with the uh, current uh, fact that, um, you know, one of the members of that Thieves' Guild escaped. So, uh, technically, if you need the extra help, we could do that. Good. Come on. Follow me. Oh, goody. Uh, we get to do some more fighting. But first, let's have a joyous song together. I'll play on my lute. There's no time. Ah, 
<laughs> Unless you want to just I mean, like you, you can still play. We can just watch, or, or we can just walk as you play. This is true. Do you take requests? What? Sure. Why not? Yeah. Uh, we'll figure that out later. <laughs> we need some good traveling music. <laughs> we need we need like all the traveling down. music from Shrek. Ooh, there you go. <laughs> On the road again. <laughs> yeah, exactly like that. <laughs> it's gonna be great. All right, so uh, you follow the guard towards the bazaar where all the action is, and you see that uh, a lot of the prisoners managed to get through and are now. And are now extorting or simply stealing a lot of different items. Some of them are stealing weapons, but a lot of them are trying to steal valuables, such as jewelry or valuable foodstuffs. Well, that's rude. What's the people work hard for this stuff? Is it complete chaos, or are they just kind of like I don't know, sneaking around, stealing things? It's chaos. In fact, uh, I'm going to take you to yet another map, battle map where you can see this happening for yourself. Can I uh, cast Bless before the combat begins? Uh, if you have a spell slot, then sure. Yeah. I got a question. What's your question? Would since bardic inspiration is technically temporary, can we just not make it not temporary until it's used? Say again. Like for example, um, bardic inspiration lasts for ten minutes. So I was thinking, like, since it can only be used once, anyways, for per per person use, can we just get rid of that time limit? Hmm. I don't know. Well, just a question. That would be a good idea. It's definitely something. Here we go. I will take you to the current battle map. And you guys will be fighting yet again. Has it been 10 minutes on those, on those two? I would or say right? no. All right. Now, okay. how about everyone roll initiative? Because you'll be fighting here, too. Oh, uh, and, oh my lord. I'm, uh, I'm praying for Lathander's guidance and Whoa, not 20. And battle to come. Revel got not 20. You have less on. Revel, rip and tear. <laughs> I literally got the same thing as last time. What a coincidence. Well, I didn't click on my character. Where did I get? 12 points. Okay. Where would we be coming from? The south? Okay, I see us. Never mind. Mm-hmm. Wait, was there only five of us? Shouldn't it be like six, or...? Yeah, I had to fix mine. Oh, yeah, so we are five, I think, right? Does Bless Effect initiative? Yes, there's five of us. Yeah, I'll just. Um, Bless is attack mod and uh, saving throws. Saving throws, okay, right, right, right. Okay, with all of that out of the way, I will begin recording again. The recording starts now. Okay. It is Revel, first of all. Okay. Um, feeling uh, invigorated, invigorated by the bless and um, all the success in the in the prison as far as she sees it. She's, all right, let's go, let's go. Here's one, I'm gonna get him. Five, 10, 18, 20, 25. And she's gonna swing at this, um, this, um, 
I should back up and ask you, DM, is there an, any, like, identifying um, clothing or anything on this escapee to let Rebel Rebel know that he's escaped and not just yeah, he's, he's some innocent a, person? He's wearing a prisoner uniform. Okay. All right. Fantastic. Um, and she'll swing her axe um, with the flat side at him rather than the uh, very lethal blade. Uh, that will be a 19. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And 12 damage. Nice. Yes. Now these uh, these guards here, they start running in. May I use my bonus action for my rampage again? Yes. All right. Um, yeah, as this guard is moving in, he just sees this uh, Noel come flying out of nowhere and bite this guy. <laughs> Yes. Good rolls, Rebel. Good rolls, Rebel. Eight damage. Hmm. That bloody. And uh, the guard next to you uh, uh, looks at you weirdly, almost as if he's a bit uncomfortable by you doing so. Yeah. And she lets go of the of the the shoulder area of this. Uh, prisoner looks up kind of at the guard and just smiles but it's just all teeth <laughs> he uh he uh averts his gaze and begins attacking the bandit it's a 19 to hit three damage that takes out yet another one this one is going to attack him attack uh, this guy with the spear and miss. Ian, it's your turn. Wonderful. I'm going to use my second blade song for this current period of time. Activate that so I get the extra movement. I'll, I'll just move in up right about there, I'd say. And since I have line of sight, yeah, he's in range. I am going to firebolt the like this guy here. Is that a convict? Yeah. Excellent. He gets the firebolt. Nope, he does not get the firebolt. Mm-hmm. That is a big oof, and uh, that's that's Ian's turn. Yep. Oops. Now it's the prisoners go. Looks like they've managed to scavenge some weapons, because this one stops uh, trying to intimidate the shopkeep and gets into cover, only to fire at Ruffle. That's a nine. That misses. Misses. These two stop looting and attempt to do the same. They both miss. Arrows just go sailing past this knoll. She's loving it. <laughs> this one's a bit braver and attempts to stab her. 11 to hit. Misses as well. Yeah. This one over here also takes cover. And she is... <laughs> Rebel, she is going to get... <laughs> she... She is finally hit. That's a, that's a 20 to hit. And five damage. All right. While Rebel is being cocky, um, that uh, she takes a, his arrow to like the shoulder. This thug here is going to move up and take the dodge action. And now it's Lady Trance's. 
I thank this guy for moving forward. It saves me from moving myself. I'm gonna go up here, and I'm going oh, to shoot him in the leg. My closest, the closest dog. Mm-hmm. Doesn't hit. Mm-hmm. Unless you want to use it to hit die from the... I'm shooting him in the foot. In, like, the leg, so I can incapacitate him. Yeah, he feels it. He definitely feels it. <laughs> Is he unconscious? No. Okay, I'm using my bonus action to reload. Mm-hmm. Kalis. Uh, I'm gonna use my action to take my shield off and ready my crossbow. And, uh... I'm gonna try and find some cover. Is there anything I can use? Um... I guess, like, if I go to, like, this corner, would that count as cover? Move back, because that's too far away. Can I, is there anything I can hide behind here? Yeah. Okay, so I'll hide behind that. It's... I don't have... I'm not a rogue, so I'll have to do... I'm Those not actually, stands. like, hiding. Those stands count as light cover. Okay, so I'd have to move up closer to them. That's not what I want to do. I'm just going to stay here, then, where I was. And, um, that'll be my turn. So are you gonna do nothing? It's an action to take a shield off. Hmm. Okay. Isaac? Alright. Okay, so... He has only one spell slot left. He's gonna save that. So he's gonna move up a little bit. Uh, how far is that? The heat from? Let's see, that's 15 feet. Over towards... Um, here. Okay. Over here. And then I'm gonna use a vicious mockery on that one guy that, um, Rebel was attacking. The, um, this one. Mm-hmm. Alright, so. Vicious mockery. So did they, did they, uh, get the save, or? Mm-hmm. And they made it. They made it, okay. Oh, well, you Ruffle? still gonna get that psychic damage. And or is that not happen if they make it? Yeah, it's a saber suck spell, so. Alright. Revel? Okay. Um Revel will swing her axe at this one in front of her again, who so boldly uh, attacked her. Right, right. Let's see, that will be Hey. How to? <laughs> Twenty-seven. <laughs> mm-hmm. She's on fire to today. Me. Just uh, literally on fire. Good Action job. Would you good. like to describe it? Um. In the interest of being non-lethal, um. But There's yeah, still unable to control herself. Because you'll, um, uh, she'll uh, go for the leg and probably hop, lop off more than she'd intended to. Hmm. Okay. But, uh, um, um, and then, uh, let's see, Archer's from the right. Um, she'll, yeah, still got that blood loss, so 5, 10, 15, she's gonna bite this guy right in front of her? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, advantage because he's dodging. Okay, sure, sure, yeah. Disadvantage. Wait. Uh, does a 16 hit? Yes. Sweet. Uh, it's 5 piercing damage. Gotcha. And then, uh... Um... Oh, yeah, she is. Um... Uh, let's see, I've got some movement left. Um... Um, would it be... Would I, uh... She looks around and assesses her situation. Um, she knows three or four arrows sailed in from the northeast. Um, and even in this state of bloodlust, uh, she's got some, uh, enough clarity to think tactically. Um, may I dive behind this stall here and take cover with my movement? I don't think you have enough movement for that. I haven't actually used any yet. The um, moving for the rampage was uh, is part of the uh, part of the trait. Right. Okay. It's my one null thing I get to do. Mm-hmm. You can do that. Okay. We'll dive behind here and take some cover from the archers. 
<laughs> the merchant that's uh, next to you goes, Are you here to help? Yeah. Uh, Unless you're a criminal. No. Okay. Hey, stay down. There's lots of arrows coming this way. Speaking of arrows... <laughs> One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. These guards are going to attempt to subdue these uh <laughs> these criminals starting with this thug. First one misses. Second one hits. For three damage. And the third one also hits. For six damage. Ian, it's your go. Wonderful. Uh, okay. So... This lad over here. Mm -hmm. I'll just I'll firebolt. Gotcha. Yeah, uh as ah, another miss. Uh-huh. I do that a lot. Um, so that'll be my turn. Wonderful. <laughs> now, remember you're blessed. So you get Oh I'm blessed? Yeah. Oh shoot, hang on, let me add that then. 13 hit then. Alright. Let me just set it. Let me double check something. Gotcha. Hmm. He is currently uh, behind half cover, Shit. which gives a plus 2 to his AC, so that misses. Ah, uh, damn. was an attempt. Now, on on the initiative count of these prisoners, I'm going to have something happen. After, uh, after the last turn, uh, I'm just gonna have something happen to uh, spice things up a bit. Uh, what happens this turn is I'm going to roll a d4. Uh-oh. And on this building here, a bandit with a sling jumps up, uh, attacks the nearest target, and runs away. So it's just a... <laughs> it's just a random peekaboo, and he attacks Rebel and gets a 21. Ah, that hits. He deals 5 damage. Crap. It, was he in this building to my left? Which he's I can't see. Of it. Oh, he's on top of it. Yeah, he climbed up. Okay. The yeah, rebel takes the, the the bullet from the slings and what the? Where'd that come from? Show yourself. <laughs> uh, must, must have just been your imagination. God, that's stung. <laughs> Bees around here. Commoner over here books it, while this prisoner here decides to take aim and attack Treants. Misses. These three are going to help out that thug by attacking the guard closest to them. First one misses. Uh, second one hits. And the third one misses. The one that hits deals two damage. This thug here doesn't have anyone to help, so he's just going to swing and miss and swing and hit for three damage, attacking the same guard. 
Trance, it's your turn. This guy hit me. This this guy tried to attack you. Yeah. That's right, this guy hit me and tried to attack me? Mm hmm. Uh, I'm standing 10 feet away from him, so I don't have disadvantage in the shot, so. Hello! And I'm adding the d8 from the uh, inspiration. This is 6. Uh, mm -hmm. that's a six hit? I have a feeling it does. Mm-hmm. Shooting him in the face. Ow! <laughs> that's got hurt. Yeah, it does hurt. Kalos, it's your go. Okay, I'm gonna take a shot with my, um... Uh, light crossbow. And uh, at the closest uh, convict I can see for 24. Mm hmm. And that'll be 8 piercing. Wait a minute. Isn't that a natural 20? It's the, uh... No, I have bless on. Bless. You still have bless? Yeah. I, I used it again before this fight started. Hmm. So I had, uh, 17 plus 1 to 18 plus 2. You're attacking the nearest, you're attacking the nearest prisoner? Yeah. That I, I should be in range of all these guys. Mm-hmm. He's down. Thank you. Oh. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming you shoot him in the head? Yeah. Uh, I am... Um, it's not. It, it's lethal. I'm just gonna, you know, go for center mass. Mm -hmm. Isaac. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna have him go behind cover right here. Mm -hmm. And then <clears throat> I'll reach another vicious mockery, but this time on this guy. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. He fails. Oh boy. Hey you. How about you get down your knees and beg for mercy? Cause you're a what a oh, um I can't say that. <laughs> you, that's actually, what he said. <laughs> you're too young. <laughs> too precious. I know. I'm just saying that's what he would say. Nice for for psychic damage. That's a yep, that that bloodies him, and he looks really offended. <laughs> but not as offended as you would have been if you had said that word. You're not allowed to say because. Too young. I know, I just, he says, like, I can't say that. <laughs> grandmother will yell at you. <laughs> Speaking of grandmother, Revel. No. Um, uh, I'd like to look around and see if I can identify either where that shot came from or if there's anything going on in the store to my west. Uh, to the west of me. I, 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 I figured these are probably doors here in the front. Um, yeah, roll perception. Like, okay. <laughs> Still can't get on. Oh boy. Um, I might use my uh, inspiration on this ability. <laughs> might want some more. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you're actually a bit... You're, you're conflicted as to whether or not you think it even exists, because you can barely sense it. Is this a, is this a building at all? She like, like, rubs her head like, I must have got hit really hard. It's um, blood rage, right? Oh, God. Um, okay. Um... Would you say that consumed my bonus action or my action or anything like that to invest? I'll say it consumes your bonus action. My bonus action. All right, just like, all right, whatever. And um, she'll close with this guy and stick with what she's good at and uh, swing at this thug. Mm hmm You said, is he looking? He's looking bloodied. You said. Yeah. Okay. And right. offended. <laughs> and offended. <laughs> uh, seventeen. I love bless. Yeah. Bless is so good. All right. With this fiery oh, axe again? I don't think it's getting you anything. Like, it hasn't, like, saved you from this thing. All oh. of your hits have been well over there, I see. It makes me feel good, though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ten damage. Uh, one of which is the burn from the axe. This is like a protective blanket around you, you know? It's just like, it's yeah, right. so safe knowing it's that comforting. I'm going to hit everything that I swing at. <laughs> Four damage. And uh, one of the guards successfully takes down the thug. The other two 
start moving up. They're going to start throwing spears at one of the bandits behind this cover. One rolled a natural one, the other one rolled an 18 and hit for four damage. Now it's Ian's turn. Wonderful. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Shoots. Um, I am actually going to move forwards. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, thanks to the Blade Song, giving me an extra 10. And I will firebolt this guy here, the closest one. Mm hmm. Uh. Oh, please hit. Please, please hit. <laughs> oh, no. 14 hits. 14 hits. Oh, I thought he still had the half cover. He does, but it brings it up to 14. Oh, sick. <laughs> Excellent. Um, now let's run my damage. Max. Max. Nice. How does he die? How does he die? Uh, it kind of looks like that Mortal Kombat Fatality Scorpion has. I produce the bolt of flame in my hand, shoot it forwards, and it just caves through his chest, and after a second, his heart falls to fill the empty hole. Oh. Ooh. First of The remaining prisoners are terrified. But uh, before that happens, uh, something I had planned, but uh, this combat's over fairly soon. So, uh, I'm gonna have this happen right now. Okay. A, a bandit with, uh, with a vase in hand sprints through like this. One, two, three, five. Parkour. <laughs> Parkour through this stand. And uh, the guard uh, starts chasing after him. And uh, Trance, could you roll Dex? You are not blessed, unfortunately. God. I I I was take the wrong people to bless. Trance, we need you to roll. What am I rolling? Dexterity. Oh. <laughs> ah! Don't even need it. <laughs> nice. The guard uh, gets close oh, wow. to popping into you, but you quickly uh, sidestep out of the way. That being said, uh, these two bandits here, they are terrified and they're going to start booking it. This one... I've, this one runs off the map. This one actually tries to climb up the building. Let's see if he's able to do so with a successful athletics check. That's, an, that's not enough, so he struggles and he just falls. And then he's and then he then he starts panicking because uh, there is nowhere else for him to go, and it's Lady Trance's turn. Uh, well, I'm gonna make this bandit. I'm gonna torment this bandit even more and cast vicious mockery. DC 13. He fails. And he takes damage. Yes. I'm going to say in Infernal, gravel before your master. He doesn't understand, but he feels hurt. <laughs> He's <laughs> trying to scare the poor guy. Okay. 
Kalis. Uh, so this guy here is. Oh, I'm not, I don't have the thing. This guy here is who we're aiming at as a um, as a prisoner with a vase. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll take a shot at him. And uh, as I pull up my character sheet again. Nine, not enough. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm gonna just move over to cut him off. Okay then. I can go right there. Right. There. One. Hmm. There you go. And that'll be my turn. Okay, then. It's then Isaac's turn. Hmm. Alright, well. I'm not sure what I should do for him. Oh, I got the perfect thing. <laughs> so. Oh, man. What should I do? So, what he's gonna do. Uh, I just wanna check real quick. Eh, yeah. uh, nah, I'll, I'll, I'll just do this instead. Okay, so he's gonna be brave. I'm gonna. He's gonna say, I'm gonna be brave for once and goes up towards the. Um. Um. Thief guy, this guy. Mm hmm. And, uh, he's gonna try and attack him with his rapier. You're you're too far away. Too far away? Okay. Can't do that then. Okay, vicious mockery then. Okay, so yeah, vicious mockery. He succeeds. Well darn. Oh well. And rebel, right? Mm-hmm. Alright, um, to uh, recap the situation, there is a bandit up here who just fell trying to climb up on a roof, mm -hmm. and then a bandit in the south with a face. Um, do we see any other, any other threats approaching, or um, uh, dangers abound? No. Okay. Alright, then um, I'll brush past this guard and say, be right back! Five, oops, sorry. Um, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Um... Oh, uh, I can't quite get him, so I'll use my dash action to, um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and, uh, seeing, um, Kalis down here, um, thinking tactically, yeah, we'll, we'll try to cut this guy off if he goes either south or east, but that will end my turn. Mm-hmm. Get him. Since the guard moved... Uh, the same turn as the prisoners. He will move on the prisoner's turn. But these guards over here, they are going to attempt to detain or incapacitate this bandit here. They are going to start... Uh... These ones are going to start attacking. Ooh, one got a natural 20. And dealt six damage. The bandit is hurt, but still up. But another one hits for two damage and successfully takes him down. Now it's Ian's turn. And it is... Okay, uh... I'm going to... Move to here. Wait a minute. There's only one bandit left, isn't there? Yeah. Eh, it's this one. Yeah, I'm gonna... Hang on, I'm gonna undo that movement real quick. <laughs> and I'm gonna... Scorpion his ass. It's, it's, it's... Well, it starts with an F and ends with an Iron Bolt. <laughs> yeah. 
and uh, roll two hits. Mm -hmm. Ah, that okay. Thank God. <laughs> Five fire damage! Okay then. That is. That, that's all that this poor guy is getting. The uh, bandit loose by Kalis. He uh, provokes Can opportunity. I... Cool. I'm gonna hit him with my mace for a, for a hot five damage. Watch this shit. I have to drop the crossbow to do this, but uh, it's worth it. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah, gonna the error here. Okay, I meant five to hit. <laughs> not five damage. It's zero bludgeoning damage! Literally zero damage. <laughs> the guard... I got a one, two for the damage, so it's minus one. The guard follows as the bandit keeps running. I'd like to think that I just, like, fumbled with the crossbow and just, like, didn't even pull the weapon out to swing at him. <laughs> well, with that, that's the end of combat. <laughs> the remaining guards, uh, speak to you. Hmm. Are you here to help? No, we just murder people for fun. That's morbid, but uh, considering <sighs> what happened here, they're fairly accurate. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's not much I can do. I, it's really hard to, like, turn down the power on a crossbow. We didn't go all of them. Are you just missing a leg. Mm -hmm. If I may be a, a bit blunt, sir, it's not like we go out of our way to kill people. It just sort of happens. I mean, we come when there's a disturbance, when people are in trouble. And usually, usually it's hard to make fire non-lethal and crossbows non-lethal. And ravenous jaws unlethal, so we kind of just end up doing uh, whatever we can. Yeah, Revel's just covered in gore right now, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Press the digitation. She's Some of clean. this is mine. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> she takes the arrow. Just like, pulls the arrow out of her shoulder. <laughs> That's great. I'm going to just go take a little piece chunk of meat off of Revel. I hope you have made a mess. Look at this. This is not your body. Hey, that, oh, yeah, that's not mine. That's fine. <laughs> the uh, Isn't? the merchant that uh, was in the stall that uh, hid behind briefly. He uh, <laughs> he actually hesitantly goes up to Rubble and says, uh, th "Thank you." Uh, you uh, kind of saved my ass. Uh, he had to tell you what. Here, uh, he gives you a potion. This is a potion of healing <laughs> for uh, your hard work. Yeah. Wow. Well, uh, thank you. Um, That's really generous of you, sir. Yeah, she rebel blink. She's not used to that. Yeah. Uh, he uh, hands it over to you and then quickly runs back into a stall. Rebel, you're making friends. Look at you, I'm so proud of you. Yeah, yeah shut up. Holy shit, Omni. You're hitting the microphone. <laughs> oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> it's <Hell. not> food. <laughs> but then Isaac goes up to the you know, shopkeeper and is like, hey, can I buy something? <laughs> As if nothing happened. <laughs> uh, the guard, uh, one of the guards uh, taps you on the shoulder as as you speak to him. Now is not the time, sir. There are okay. still lots of prisoners in the bazaar causing a ruckus, and the guard is kind of overwhelmed. The captain of the guard is going to be here soon. Hopefully things get better then. But for now, things are in total chaos. I'm going to grab Isaac by the ear and start dragging him towards the rest of the group. <laughs> hey, I was wanting to buy a crossbow. I'm good at crossbows. <laughs> not <laughs> now. Buy you one later. Come on, we have more people to deal with. This is a job, after all. Ah, uh, <laughs> this is how he acts. <laughs> is uh, is anybody injured? Mm, yeah. Okay. Well, then. It seems it seems like our day hasn't finished quite yet, so I'm gonna use my channel divinity. 
And I can ten. heal for 10, I believe. No, yeah, maybe. Ah, hell no, again. And I will use my... What's it called? It's Arcane Recovery? To get one spell slot back. Good stuff. Another guard approaches. Hmm. Excuse me. Are you three aware of what's happening? That well, the prisoners yeah. escaped? One of the guards says, Yeah, of course. No, I met I met at the castle. Oh. No, what happened at the castle? There's a large group of prisoners there. And what appears to be their leader? They're at, they're at the gates of the castle, and they're trying to get an audience with someone. My brother-in-law is going to have a hell of a time dealing with this. Such fun. Let's go. Do you need our help with that? Like, how many are there? Hmm. I can have a like guarantee. There's quite a bit, but most of them are preoccupied trying to keep the guards from attacking them. For now, they just want to speak to someone. Well, uh, allow us to take care of that for you. Good. You, uh, you can go through the bazaar. Uh, there's a bit of fighting still. The, uh, the guard escorts you over there. And eventually, you uh, start to see what he was referring to. In fact, let me uh, let me show you what's happening. Before Excellent. Before that actually gets started. Oh, jeez. Oh, and uh, where are we? Uh, you're yeah. at the bottom with this guard here. Oh, sick. Hang on. Let me get my thing in then. If uh, if anybody has any um, hit points missing, I have seven healing for you. As you can see in front of you, there is there's a man in heavy armor with a sword and a shield. In fact, Lady Trance may remember uh, walking around the prison and actually seeing him wander. Who is this? This guy is familiar. Okay. Next him. Next to him, there are some prisoners that have bags of loot slung over their shoulders. And to the sides, there are a load of guards, as well as a load of strong-looking prisoners that are currently intimidating them into not acting. So, Are the two prisoners who are near the armored individual, are they aggressed against them, or are they on the same side? They seem to be on the same side. Okay. Ooh. All right, see. Um, I'm going to look at the armor guy. Just going to call out to him. Uh, excuse me, sir. Who is it that you're, uh, who you're looking for? He turns over to you and, and he, you can't see his face, but based off his, based off his body language, he looks like he's a bit, he's a bit startled. Oh. Peasants. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm just trying to see uh, the princess, of course. Oh, the princess. Oh, you know, my mistake. Now, um, all of these hooligans from the prison, they're with you? Of course. I turned them into wonderful servants. Fascinating. Now, I just want to let you know, my name is Ian Ravencroft. I'm a traveling fortune teller. Perhaps I can give you a bit of luck in the days to come, if you oh. would care to have me display it. That would be wonderful, but I am afraid I don't have much time. Do not worry, it'll take but a second. My deck's right here. And wouldn't you know it, fate has seen kindly enough to tell me exactly what's in store for you. Oh. And there's one single card floating. And I take it. Oh, would you look at that. The tower, that's a fantastic card for you. It represents change, redistribution, a new regime. But wouldn't you know it? It means the destruction of your current one. Ah, 
Of course. What this means for you is that Bates has intervened. I'm going to need him and his two cronies to make. What kind of saving throw is this? What? Um, what did this, is mag- this is the magnify gravity card. I need them to yes. make constitution saving throws. Okay. okay. Oh, boy. First, with the, with the weird knight, uh, he, uh, he succeeds. As for the two bandits next to him, one succeeds, the other one fails. Fabulous. The one that fails will be taking 13 points of damage and his movement is halved. The other two take 6 points of damage. Wow! Amazing! Yeah. One just gets ripped into the Shadow Realm. <laughs> yep. I like your style. The knight looks hurt, but looks at you and says, How dare you! Prepare to... And then at that point, uh, you can hear a bit distant, you can hear a, a feminine voice. What is going on down there? Uh-oh. And uh, from a balcony, you can see the princess herself. Trayance immediately bows. <laughs> yes. Uh, you bow? Mm-hmm. You can see... Uh, her appearance, uh, okay from this distance. She's wearing a pink dress, has perfect fair skin, blonde hair, and wonderful big blue eyes. And she is currently looking down with equal parts confusion and annoyance. Look up before the, uh, guard, before the, uh, criminal does. Forgive me, your majesty, but I'm afraid we've had a disturbance that we are needing to quell. Oh. The gods shall handle this quickly. Well, uh, I'm afraid that, uh, my servants were just pestering. Apparently, uh, quite a disturbance down here, and... Sir, do you want to see me? And uh, the knight speaks, Yes, yes, I am Sir Jack, and I have come to become your servant, your dutiful knight in shining armor. I do anything for you, my sweet. The princess just looks and says, Oh, so is that what this whole thing's about? You want to get my attention or something? Oh, yes, of course, of course. I have turned these ruffians into true servants. They are dutiful. They fight valiantly. They work to the best of their abilities. And you don't even have to pay them. I say they perfect servants for you and I. Well, they certainly worked dutifully enough when you sent them through the bazaar on a rampage of destruction. Ah. That rampage was not for nothing. He, uh, he takes uh, the bag off of the, uh, the corpse of that bandit that was smushed into the ground. Inside of these bags are the most valuable trinkets that they could find. He, uh, he, he empties it out onto the ground. You can see uh, some cheap jewelry, uh, some small weapons that look like they'd be decently valuable. As well as some other various knickknacks. As you can see, these riches are beyond compare. You and I could live wonderfully together. Uh. Uh. The princess just looks out, and she she looks absolutely flabbergasted. Well, the thing is, I don't know if that's really enough. Uh. I've gone through plenty of suitors. Uh, I don't know if you have a... Uh, how do I describe it? Uh, the, the, the stuff? Uh, is, is that what you commoners say? Oh, commoner? I am more than a commoner. I am a knight. And I am hero. I am your hero. And I will do anything for you. You said that already. Of course. 
I can also sing you a wonderful ballad in your honor. I'm readying my crossbow to silence him. The princess just says, please don't do that. Aww. And uh, the knight, Sir Jack, begins, begins singing anyways. Rachel, I love you. And then he keeps going like that. I'm gonna very I'm gonna very quickly press to digitate an itch in the back of his throat so he stops. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies, uh fair fair princess. Uh I I had a bit of a a thing in my throat. Uh, <laughs> Oh, do not worry, sir. We're waiting for you to continue. Just say, go right ahead. <laughs> oh, he needs to make a wisdom save. He he looks back at you and says, "Wait a minute." Wait you, a minute, what? Me? You are trying to stop me. You want the princess for yourself. Well, I may be a young man, but I'm not. A... What do you say? Oh no, he died. Ian, no. No. There's Craig and now Ian. When will they? When will the killing stop? <laughs> what happened, to Ian? I got time. It's perfect. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have Isaac type uh, chime in if that's all right. Okay. No, it's not that your singing is bad. It's just that you need to, to practice a little bit more. That's all. Not our good boy. No, no it's very polite. Oh, I like that. Ian's back. You lot have stood in my way for the last time. You will not deny me my prize. I'm, yes, going, to, I'm going to shoot the guy in the face. Okay, no, then. He's not an object, you misogynist. And then I'll shoot him as well. Yeah, a, a seven misses. And he, he looks really angry now. Roll initiative. Ah, oh, shite. <laughs> Jeez, it was a good try. He spent the last okay. forty years in the under service, under service of this king as a member of court. She is not going to listen to this guy's absurdity. I rolled a nine. Are you serious? This oh. entire time, Ian's just going to be looking at him like, "This is how you are seeing your absolute buffoon." <laughs> And it's just better than that. And then I'm just gonna sing uh, "Hit Me, Baby" one more time. <laughs> no. I think, uh, do you want me to put my uh, thing on the board? I think you put me as a guard. Sorry, put put down your initiatives in the turn order. I did. Uh, yeah, I, I did. Yeah, do yeah, Sorry, I cleared it. I don't know how to do that manually. Do we just roll again? I don't know how to do that manually. Hang on, I'll roll again and put back the one I had originally. Oh, yeah. never mind. Actually, you know what? It doesn't matter. They're both the same to me, so. <sighs> okay, so. You, Revel, you can go first. Okay, so I yeah, had to uh, so put that as 22, because that's what I had. Yeah, regrettably, yep. I had a 19 first, so I had to edit that. There you go. I need I this thing the entire time. Okay, then. It's time to start recording. Now we're recording. Good. Now it's uh, Isaac's turn first. <laughs> now, I'm going to try something risky. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm listening. Do it. I'm going to um, attempt <laughs> to either do one or two things. Which one do you think is better, charm or sleep? I have a good too much health for sleep, so charm. Oh, boy, charm boy. the guy that Charm the, the knight. Yeah. <laughs> so you'll have disadvantage on that. And, uh, we uh, haven't hit him yet. So hit. Charm, a charm effect if we're in combat with them is disadvantage. Oh. Actually, he, he has advantage on the wisdom save, you mean. Oh, I do? Or, yeah, whatever. E either way, it's not good. So, yeah, should I go to sleep instead? Yeah, you can find it. Yeah, he hasn't, he hasn't, he hasn't, he hasn't, he hasn't, he hasn't 
Are we in combat with just him, or are we in combat with the guy behind him? The guy behind him, too. Oh, well, there goes that plan. All right, uh -oh. I'm gonna, um, attempt to... <sighs> okay. I'm gonna have Isaac try and attempt to make this guy go to sleep. Okay. Oh, I God. Can... What? That's a lot of D8s for you to roll. It is? It's only about roll. five D8. Yeah, yeah, you roll, roll five D8s, and then you put to sleep people in order of HP left. I see. And I'm just... Okay. Is it so you, can get, you can get both of them. I can get both of them. Oh, boy. Yep. Okay, so 5d8. Is it plus anything, or just... Just the 5d8. Yeah, it's the 5d8. If you uh, go to your character sheet in the spell section and just click the spell, it'll do it for you. I know, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Okay. Okay, never mind, I'm gonna do it. Eh, you got the one guy. Got one. Maybe. I mean, that was a pathetic roll right there. Did I... do it, or...? Uh... The, uh, the bandit next to him is asleep now. Otherwise, uh... <laughs> the knight seems totally unaffected. Darn it. That goes all my spell slots. Now it's Ian's turn. Fabulous. I'm Man. gonna go ahead and give Revel a nice bit of space in case she wants to dash, and I'm just gonna... Firebolt Sir Jack of Off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, would you rather it's Sir Jack himself of off? Oh, oh my god, god not 20. I have a feeling this isn't going to be as difficult as I thought it would be. Ah, uh, we'll see. He takes six damage. No! Fireball. Uh, Alright. It looks like it hurt him, but it could have been better. And Rebel. For my, for my bonus action, I am just going to... I'm just gonna kind of. Hello, that was me. <laughs> he does not look happy. Oh, I feel bad. I like it. All right. Um, for Rebel's turn, um, she's still a little wounded. Um, you know, this this Noel always has, always has vigor for battle, but you see she's panting a little bit. Just, uh... All right, here we go, and she'll take uh, a few steps forward here, and um. Then take the uh, take the dodge action for her turn. Um, quick question though for the DM: um, What is the armor of this uh, knight, Jake, like or Jack? Is it um, uh, um, prison issue, prison guard issue, or is it uh, something different? Is, is there looks, any chance Rebel might looks better than its normal armor actually? Okay. Anything she might have seen around the line? Uh, maybe. Okay. Okay. Uh, Chaos. Okay. Uh, did my uh, if he is he in heavy armor? Did the first crossbow bolt I shot at him hit? Uh, uh first crossbow. Uh, let's see. Thirteen misses. Yeah. And what's the new one? Or uh, what's the? I I did one before the combat started because I was readying it, and this is fourteen. Same thing. Yeah, well, it it misses. Trance. Right, I armor. His AC is going to be 18, which is going to be a pain in the ass. Mm -hmm. Ruffle, you ready to take a bunch of beatings? So I feel like this is what's going to happen to us. Yeah, let's do it. Reloading with my bonus action, and I am taking the dodge action. Hmm. I can't do anything. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Yeah, well, Sir Jack sees this and says, Coward, I will face a worthy opponent. And he goes to attack Rebel instead. He attacks with his longsword. It's at disadvantage because uh, uh, he took the dodge yeah, action. Boy. Rebel also but, took the dodge action. Oh. Damn. We are both cowards. <laughs> uh, that's a total of 20, though. Oh, boy. 
that Hopefully case. these guards uh, do something or we start running, man. <laughs> we should probably... Six damage. Okay. That's an 11. Misses. Hmm. Oh boy. What? Okay, so the he's first... got uh, oh, no more spell slots left, but he's still got point of vicious mockery. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna first... use that. The first slice was enough to do some visible damage to Rebel, and she could have uh, staggers back a little bit. She's not looking good. Mm hmm. Vicious mockery on that guy. Okay, then. Yeah, that's a that's a failure. Ah, uh, wait, for him or me? Him. Oh boy. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna roll the da damage after I do the insult. So you know how I said you you weren't bad at singing? I lied. You're pretty awful at it. I could sing Ooh. better stuff in my sleep. Ooh! <laughs> wow. Man, that, that should be fire damage, not psychic. <laughs> it does four nice! <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. Ian? So. <laughs> Alrighty. So. Boop, pop up one so I don't have the half cover, and I'm just gonna smack him with yet another fired bolt. <laughs> fire damage to psychic. You got disadvantage or advantage? <sighs> it's just Neither. normal. It's just, it just rolls that for whatever reason. But That's in any it. case, it just kind of whizzes past his head. And I'm just gonna be like, um, you're a simp. <laughs> this is the word you invented back then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> it means you're weak. <laughs> I take offense to that remark. God, that was the intention, lad! <laughs> Rebel says, yeah, yeah, you're a simp. She has no idea what it means. And attacks him <laughs> with her, with her uh, battle axe. I mean, you've seen what my friend the bard did. Here's one for you. Is that a new suit of armor? Because it sucks. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's just going to be a puddle after this, man. <laughs> <laughs> Full fetal position. Like, Jesus. Uh, it's 12 I damage. that misses, yeah. Uh, no, yeah, 12 to hit. Miss. Kalos? And inspiration probably wouldn't help, so. I'm gonna hit him with the crossbow. It's what I got left. Um, do you not have any offensive cantrips? I do, but they're melee. This mm. is way more damage for a single target. What did I just roll? 17? Please. 20. 20 to hit. Mm-hmm. Uh, five piercing damage. Mm -hmm. And that is my turn. Alright then, trance. Uh, I'm going to aim a gun at his head. Mm -hmm. You have one chance to surrender and place, place you under arrest. I will never surrender! I thought so. Really?! Can I have that inspiration back? I mean, I have to wait till my turn, but... I missed How many Bardic Inspirations can you get at level 2? Uh, um, it says... It says every... Um, it says... Times my Charisma modifier, and that's 3, so I have 1 left. It's Sir Jack's turn. He says, You dare shoot me, coward! Shoot He, oh no! He attacks you first with disadvantage. Uh, it's a twenty-three. Disadvantage. <laughs> That's nine damage. Ow! And that's a twenty-one to hit. Oh my God! Eight damage. I'm unconscious. Fuck, don't fuck with Sir Jack! Mm. Okay, so... What is he? He's got no more spell slots left. So I, I probably shouldn't have used that. I should use the forgiving word instead, but... 
Oh well. Okay, so what to have Isaac do? Hmm. The only thing I can really do. I'm gonna have a move. So I, you know, behind this guard because <laughs> he's got very low HP. Yeah, I for I forgot to, I forgot to add guard to the initiative count. So he just he's just hanging out. He's he's making sure nothing happens. I, I had back lines. So, uh, and then from behind the guard, <laughs> Isaac does the another vision, the vision mockery, because that's really all you can do at this point. <clears throat> that's a problem. Don't get up close, it hurts. And same target as before. So are you... Vicious mockery again. Isaac. Yeah, okay. Okay. He succeeds. Turn it. Oh, that sucks. Ian? And it's time for oh wait wait a second. Um was that a bonus action for my for my vicious mockery or a regular action? Vicious mockery is an action. So I still get to use my bonus action. Yes. Correct. Um okay, I'm gonna give my last bardic inspiration to Rebel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alright. Good stuff. Later. Yeah, I assume my first one is worn off by now. Yeah. Ten minutes. Oh, oh I swear. I, I better hit him. Buy your bolts. <laughs> I should have given it to you instead. <laughs> I'm in pain. Okay. Can I just play like actually just... hitting is like 33%? Maybe. Yeah. Just give me that like Sonic really the Hedgehog well. game over music. Uh, what's that again? Game over, yeah! Well, that one, yes, is like... Yeah, that's that's a fairly accurate assessment of what's happening. Uh, Rebel? Alright. Um, we're gonna swing the battle axe again. Um, looking pretty desperate at this point because Rebel is quite hurt. It's 11! Inspiration wouldn't even get me there, so... Uh... Yeah... Swings wide. Kalis. So who's down? Is it Lady Trance? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to move over to Lady Trance and I'm going to ready an action to feed her a potion when she has to make a death save. Okay. Are you sure you... Actually, wouldn't that be a, that'd be a poor tactical decision? Because that would logically dictate that uh, she wouldn't have a turn afterwards. Yep, give me now. Give me now. If I give it to you now, it's your turn next anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. But um, I'm just, basically I'm trying to feed it to her so that she can have a turn. So she'll be yeah, able to that, stand up and still use her turn. Mm -hmm. Doing that, then you can feed it to me now. So if you give it to me on yeah, my turn. You're right now. Me anyway. So yeah, let's just, I'll just use it now. And... Uh, how much was it, did you say? It's like 44? Or 2d4. What, what? Sorry, there was somebody talking. Okay. I'll roll that. That's seven damage. That's seven HP. Uh, oh, three oh, plus two, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. And that was my action, right? To feed her the potion? Mm hmm. And I don't have any spells left or any kind of bonus action, so that's my turn. Trance. I am standing up. And I am not happy. What can I do? I don't have any offensive spells. Besides Vicious Mockery. Uh, I'm going to put away my... I'm going to put away my footlock. I'm just going to 
fashion twice with my tontos. Mm-hmm. Hey, the 21 hits. Mm-hmm. What's name? And I can't do anything else. That means it's Sir Jack's turn. He is going to uh, choose randomly who he attacks. That's that's a two, so one, two, three. He's attacking Lady Trains again. God, please don't. <laughs> you get knocked down, and you're just going to get back up again. No. I'm going to keep you down. You have nothing more than common filth. You are not allowed to marry the princess. I will make you eat those words, just like I will make you eat my sword. And he yeah, rolls a 15. Yeah. That misses. 15 misses. Nice. Damn. And the next one's a 24. Ah! Please roll low. Ten. Oh, I'm, I'm asleep. <laughs> Man, I went back to bed. Get knocked down. Get up again. Hey, never gonna keep you down. <laughs> no, we're not. Rick, do not Rick roll me. No, it's Chumba Wumba. That was definitely not Rick rolling. Oh, I don't remember. It's been too long since I've heard it. That song. Yeah. We just got. We need to load Isaac up with '90s alternative rock just so he can play it. <laughs> that could be interesting. Isaac's, that. Isaac's up again. I know. I'm just trying to figure out what to do now because I'm all out of bar bark inspiration. I'm all out of spell slots. So. You got a sword. I got a sword. Yes, I do. But he's got very. He's got. He's got some. He's got very low HP. Um, Don't we all, man? Are you the are you the melee bard or are you the vicious mockery in the background bard? I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. <laughs> so, what's a proficiency bonus? It's at this uh, level two. At level two, it's plus two. So I'm thinking about the jacket trades thing. It adds half to any skill you're not proficient with. Oh, I see. Okay, so ne never mind with that. I'm gonna just <sighs> okay. So he's gonna stop hiding. I'm gonna have him move. Just see how much. Oh, yep, that's that, that's still plenty. <sighs> okay, going for it. Okay, so he's gonna attack with his rapier. But be before doing that, he's gonna say something. You know, someone is, as someone who's in the common realm himself, I think it's best you should know that the Princess Bray wouldn't likely date me either. But that means... Actually, I forgot where I was going with this. I'm just gonna attack. <laughs> That's what he says. He does. He actually does that. Very on brand. <laughs> He's such a good boy. I <laughs> forgot. I think that's how he would work. He's, he's hilarious. Okay, so the rapier, which is... Okay, right here. What do I get? Oh my god. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh my yeah. god. Our boy. So I just quit the thing. Five piercing damage. Mm -hmm. Does he react to that or...? <clears throat> It goes through his armor, and he says, Ugh! Don't do that, coward! Not the coward anymore. Yeah, well, it's Ian's turn. I know, just saying, like, that's what Isaac would say in response. And Ian, for the first time ever, a new card pops out of his deck as he grasps the hilt of his scimitar and casts... It's, it, it's, a, it's a... Oh, you're talking about your scimitar. Yeah, my scimitar. Not not the, not the dude's scimitar. My scimitar. It's a long and he, time. And he is going to cast Green Flame Blade. Mm-hmm. Oh, dear lord. This is going to be kind of awful because... 
I don't have my special magic stuff yet, so we'll see how this goes. But I'm proficient, plus dex, so... That's oh, good. hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. How much damage? <laughs> One damage, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, <laughs> he gets a slight, gets a burning sensation up his butthole like he ate Mexican food the night before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's uh, me. Mate, you got that burning feeling. You might want to see a doctor before you caught the princess. He, he doesn't even respond to that. He, he doesn't know what to say. <laughs> no. Honestly, neither do we, I. We're all we're all meleeing him at this point, right? I mean, kind of at this point. And he's. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um. Fuck. Rebel will take another swing with her axe. Just stop talking and die. <laughs> oh no! We're oh, back God. to being bad, Rebel. <laughs> <laughs> she's too she's too beaten up and that rock from before she's a little concussed so. <laughs> just uh completely misses yeah that hit die wouldn't work, work, work either would it Kalis inspiration no no I'm gonna quick engage four or five okay I'm gonna be right here and uh that'll be my turn okay then Oh, One no. down. Got two left. I don't want to play this character. I like this character. She's a motherly figure. All right, that's her. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to add the prisoner to the initiative count. Oh. I didn't do so earlier, and this seems pretty dire. I don't think he can watch us anymore. He kind of wants to help a bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Lady of court. Get up here now. Are we in Nana's will? It depends. Anyways. Right, you... It's, uh... It's Sir Jack's turn. He's gonna roll another d6. He attacks... Oh boy, he attacks, uh, Ian. That burned like an ice cube. He rolled a 12. And he's gonna roll again. That's a 15. He misses twice. Mage armor saves the day. Let's go. Mm hmm. Ian, uh, it's your turn again. Wait, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's, uh. Listen, mate, are you sure you should really be doing this? Whatever. Hey, Flame Blade! Nice. That was in my head. 17? Yes. That misses. Oh! Well, that's a bit of a problem. Okay, yes. so. Sure, if I should attack now. <laughs> no, I'm doing it. Uh, he's gonna wait. Is, is vicious mockery a bonus action or is it a action? Action. Action. Okay, so I'm gonna just do the, the, the rap here again. Is that does that hit? Mm hmm. 20. Okay. Eight piercing. Nice. Yeah, he's, he's looking very much bloodied. Can I still make him, make him make it to an insult, but that doesn't actually do anything? Sure. Wow, that armor really doesn't suit you. That joke was terrible. I will not have you in my royal court. Too bad. Wait, that was... you're singing. <laughs> Too bad, I'm, I'm a better singer than you anyways. Too bad that goes to a damage. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
If anything, he'll be working the royal food court. Oh no. Can can Rebel roll her eyes at all this and push past uh, 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 Isaac and wind up over here to heal Treance? <laughs> okay. I'll use my action to feed her the healing potion. Come on, get back up. We're not done. We're Not a very good. It's two to four plus two. Please enjoy ten hit points. Oh my god! Thank you. Mm -hmm. Don't waste it. I needed that. And that. Uh, mm -hmm. That ends Rebel's turn. <laughs> that <was> terrible. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right, Kalis. All right, let's see if this is. Please, Jesus. Oh. Oh, how bad was it? It was really bad. Don't look, don't look. <laughs> oh, I looked. Too late now. Um, yep, that's my turn. That's all I got left. Also, we'll... The guard next to you says, All right, that's it. And he, he rushes in there himself and attacks Sir Jack. That is a 11. So he misses. And now, Triance, it's your go again. I'm stamping up. I, I'm debating what I want to do, because I feel like she would disengage. Yeah, she's going to disengage. <laughs> and I'm going to go over here. <laughs> Okay. Cool. And last time at this point. I, think I can't do anything else this turn. Sir Jack is up again. And he's gonna roll a d4 this time. He is attacking you, Isaac. Isaac. Oh boy. Oh no. No, leave him below, he's just a boy. You are an unworthy jester. 24 to hit. Damn! Oh! I think he that is. Lily really do not insult his musical skills. He's got a grudge. Yeah, okay. Eight damage for the first hit. And Ouch. Second hit is an 11. That misses. But eight damage, damn. Uh, I was hurting quite a bit. Kalis, what is that music? I don't know. It's a good question. Oh. Well, I started a video. I'm sorry. Ian? I Ian is going to step back so he gets the opportunity to attack. Oh, that is that is risky, but 13. Misses. Well, my god, risks pay off right now. Oh, it did. They do. Oh, there is a god. Nice. Whoops. Ignore that. Ignore that. Okay. If only. <laughs> if only. fire damage. Ooh. He is looking hurt. Oh, thank god I pulled the, uh... I don't even know what card this is. It's the two of pentacles. Good for it. I don't care. <laughs> Isaac. <laughs> Okay, so you like the player of swords, huh? He sounds like a little like he's kind of like hurting quite a bit from that. <laughs> well, I got one for you too. <laughs> he's he's actually really hurting from that last attack, but he's also trying to, you know. Oh my gosh. Mm. That's, gonna, that's going mm. hit. Eight damage. Uh, he's looking really hurt now. Dead? Oh. Um, yeah, so yeah, he's looking really hurt, right? So, um, Rebel, um, who's also looking really beat up, um, he snarls and said, Last chance! Lay down your weapon! Never! She raises her axe. Ravage your way! And, uh, she takes a swing. It'll be really cool if it hits. 24. It hits! 
four, 11 damage. How does he die? Or, or does he die? Do you try uh, and knock him out or? Humil humiliate him, it's way worse than death. <laughs> um, can you tell me again if I recognized his armor at all? Uh, you don't recognize his armor. Trance would have. She saw him briefly in the prison. Yeah, right, right, right. Um, in that case, no. Um, uh, yeah. I, she raised the, the, the one handed axe overhead and then brings it down right uh, um, onto his helmet. And uh, either it caves in and crushes his skull or mm, knocks him out. I guess DM's choice. I'd, I'll happily roll to see how. Uh, how what, what his fate is, if you'd like. Uh, I could roll a d20. Sure. And uh, if he... Oh. If, says, I guess if he basically makes a death save, then he will survive the blow, if that's how you want to do it. Let's do it. Leave it to the dice. 16. He's alive. He's alive. He no. gets... He gets Cogged upside the head. Then a sudden show of restraint, Rebel does not pop his head off. <laughs> his his helmet is dented significantly, and he falls over, going, "No, the princess <laughs> is in another castle." What? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. She's the good one. But no, he wouldn't know that that reference because it's not didn't exist. So, what's the situation on the rest of the battlefield? Are we about to be overrun? Well, as a uh, as he goes down, you notice something about him. His body, actually his 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 armor, it darkens, and then some sort of black, shadowy, goopy stuff sort of uh slides off him. Oh, not that again. And then, what is that? Yeah. Ice gas. I'm gonna try and catch it in the empty vial for the healing potion. Uh, it it's you're too far away for that. It do, it doesn't exactly come close to you. In fact, uh, would anyone here like to roll perception? Uh, yes, I would. Is I, it not? I, 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 there I'm gonna roll it too. Is it like a group check then? Or... Oh, thank God it's a group I check. I guide myself before this. That's 17 as well. No, you can't guide yourself. It wouldn't, there would oh, be yeah, time. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, looking at everyone. Oh, wait. Alice? No. No one sees it. It just, really? it looks like it disappears. Hmm. As soon as it leaves his body, it just sort of vanishes. You can't see it anymore. And uh, left behind is... Well, uh, would you remember Jack? Did we all met Jack, right? Oh my god, <laughs> yes! <laughs> Isaac's just staying there confused, because he didn't actually participate in that part. Don't... Like you did when we went to the prison the first time. He was there. Yeah. Oh, he, he was, was with the warden, oh, right? He let us in, I think. Oh, that's right. It was him. And we humiliated him because he had a picture of a shrine to the princess in his locker. <laughs> oh, that, that, oh. That, yeah. I remember him now. As for, uh, <laughs> as for the others, uh, as in uh, the prisoners here, they look, they uh, keep doing that. He, uh, <laughs> as uh, Jack falls and uh, the shadowy stuff just sort of uh, leaves his body, the thugs stop trying to intimidate the guards and instead begin looking dazed. They, they start clutching their heads and, and they start mumbling like, oh, where am I? Was going to yell at the guards. Quickly arrest the prisoners. The guards do so. 
uh, they slap manacles over them. Nice. One of them comes over and puts some manacles over the unconscious bandit as well. The one that's sleeping. Uh, yes. I'm gonna look up at the balcony. Is the princess still there? Yes. She just watched the whole thing go go down. France is going to Your fight. Majesty. Yes. My huh. sincerest apologies for the disturbance here, but it's all taken care of now. Go, go back to what you were doing. It's, it's all fine. Oh, yeah. well, thank you. Uh, would, uh, <laughs> would you like to speak face to face, actually? Uh, Trance is giving you a, <laughs> and a head shake. Don't do it. <laughs> Ian looks nervous as hell because he's never spoken to royalty before. And hell, he doesn't really speak to people other than you guys. You give him confidence. He looks nervous. I, um... Do it. I, mm, eh. Mm. So you have Isaac chime in? Hi, I'll talk to you. Hmm. That sounds wonderful. Good. Uh, he, uh, leaves the balcony and a little while later... She and a bunch of uh, heavily armored guards that look really big and really muscular. Ah! They uh, they uh, escort her out in order to uh, meet all of you as uh, the prisoners are all taken away. May I rifle through Jack's belongings in the meantime? Uh, he has he doesn't have the weird armor anymore, Dang. so he doesn't have oh, much on him. On. Okay, oh, does true. he doesn't have any like weird. Um, symbols or tokens or anything on his body. Roll investigation. Okay. Yeah, I'll use my no inspiration. Yeah, you can actually. Yeah, before it runs out. Um, twenty-four total. You search him very thoroughly and find nothing. Oh. Okay. Yeah, well, stands back up with a grunt because she is hurting. But we'll go meet uh, everybody else. Uh, the princess uh, walks over and and greets you, Revel. Oh, uh, hello there. Um, what are you doing with that man? Mm, I was just checking. I don't know, maybe just in case he had something on him that made him go nuts. Uh, oh. Did anybody else see that shadow thing? I? Like, he had the armor and then the armor just poof, and it was gone, and the shadow just... You saw that, Rain. Uh, me? I don't know what you're talking about. No, not you. These these guys right here. And Rebel was showing, like, what's the respect of the princess? The rest of you. Well, uh, I mean, uh, he, he had armor, and then he didn't. That's that's yeah. what I know. No it's kind of far it, in the right? back, there's a crowd around him. Hey, that is indeed what I saw. It reminds me of the tiefling from back at the restaurant. Wait, what? No, remember oh. that guy? We thought he, thought he was a was, guy. Um, a little dazed at the moment. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I forgot about that. Well, the thing we thought was a troglodyte was actually a tiefling that worked in the sewer. Yeah. That's the same kind I of thing that happened here. I was chasing after some sort of like ooze for that guy. I don't know how these these correlate though, because this this guy had armor and then he didn't. I didn't Perhaps see anything in between there. Same stuff, different application. Just yeah, check okay. his belt. Like one guy like body just painted just... or like fell in the ooze, and then this guy just got like inhaled it. Maybe. Does he smell like the sewer or anything? This Jack. That's a good. Does, uh, like, does he smell like feet? Like the. Uh... Yeah, you would think I'd be good at this. Look at the nose on me, but 15. He he just smells like a corpse. There's something that stands out. A fresh hmm. corpse, or like a he's been rotten. He's been dead a while, kind of thing. He's a fresh corpse. Okay. Hmm. Well, okay. not he's not actually dead, but uh he's oh, yeah. true. He's, he's, he's so sweaty. Like, yeah, he's he smells like he smells like sweat, blood. He does not look good. Ooh. And doesn't well, smell either. I'm just gonna 
I'm going to press to digitate. I'm not going to give any sort of spell. I'm just going to take away the smell that's there. Okay. Then I'm going to very nervously turn to the princess, and I kind of flinch a bit when I realize she's actually there. Oh! Uh, your majesty! Hello. Uh, hello. Uh, I'm Rachel. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, I, <clears throat> I'm uh, Ian Ravencroft of the clan Ravencroft, the last of my name. How are you? Oh, I was doing just fine before all this happened. Uh, I'm assuming you all had a hand in it? In stopping it, yes. Hmm, good, good. Well, you certainly pulled your weight. Uh, 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 miss, uh, what are you doing with that body? I'm, uh, just making sure that he doesn't expire. Oh, I was speaking to, uh, that robed woman. No, oh, me? Uh, mm -hmm. well, um, I don't know, I'm looking for clues. He seemed weird, so... We thought maybe there was a connection to um, another case that we had. Hmm. So, I, uh... You're saying something like this has happened before? How have I never heard of it? It was a bit of um, a smaller thing. It was from back when we were in uh, Auror, actually. Where we went to Auror right now. Auror. Oh. Never mind. He's uh, nervous, don't worry. I'm very nervous. I've never spoken to royalty before. We were um, we were at a restaurant. Hmm. We were at Orcello's palace. A, a tiefling man had uh, come in uh, earlier in one particular evening and was refused because he was working in the sewer and therefore not quite the cleanest. Later that same evening, a troglodyte shows up attempts to attack the barkeep. We stop it, and the troglodyte suddenly transforms back into the tiefling from before. Just this black ooze kind of fell off him. And a similar sort of ooze fell off of this man here after we defeated him. Funny thing is, he was at the prison. Hmm. That is, like, that is strange. It's very um, strange. Yes, it's very, very strange. It's, um, <laughs> well, hopefully this is something that can be looked into at some point. In fact, I, we may have to get some people on that. Oh, well, we can look into that. Oh, well, if we need your services, I'm sure we can help. I'm sure we can have you help. We'll be very happy to oblige you. It's, uh, it's our, it's our, um, it's our uh, privilege to uh, work for royalty, as it were. <laughs> well, very nice meeting you all. I'll be heading inside now. She actually offers to shake Rebel's hand. Oh, boy. oh no. Uh, yeah, Rebel takes a second, but then, yeah, this big giant null paw comes out from under the cloak and shakes. Oh. Ah, oh, it's okay. See? Wasn't so bad. I, uh, I saw how you fought. You did very well. You actually got the finishing blow. Yeah, um, lucky swing. Hmm. No need to be so humble. You did great. Thank you. Anyways, I'll be heading back inside. This is going to bow. And say, as the princess is leaving, may you have a good night, your majesty. Oh, you too. And uh, she and her bodyguards go back inside. Ian is still a bright red tomato. <laughs> Isaac is just completely unfazed about the whole princess thing, but he's kind of in wonder about like the whole ooze thing. You know what I mean? Like He's wondering what's going on. Yeah, Rebel just kind of snorts and pats uh, Ian on the shoulder a little hard. <laughs> she said it was a pleasure right. to meet me. Come on, we gotta go. Right. Hey. Hey. her hand over her chest. Where do we live again? Oh, what? yeah, where, where are we going? Uh, yeah, that's a really good question. Um, 
Should we go back to the prison? I have a feeling there's not going to be much Could there. I thought we go somewhere to rest. I'm, I'm kind of hurt right now. Yeah, oh. yeah, me too. We could go, uh... Where's Kalos? We could go talk to, uh... Kieran. I'm about to occur, that would probably be wise. Is he going to be back at the office at this late? Oh, he... He might be. You don't... You're not entirely sure, but... You could check. Trans is going to look at the group very sternly, specifically Ian and Rub Ian and Rebel, and say, You're very, very lucky to meet the princess. But a thing does not happen often. More so I am terrified that she accept that you accept her offer to shake her hand. One false step in those cards would have torn us apart. Uh actually uh she offered to shake Revel's hand. Yeah. It wasn't the other way. Trans is looking at them terrified. Wow, what's the big deal? Or... No, she didn't she didn't seem like much. Yeah, I, it was well, really like light. I think I could have crushed it. Well, I was actually she, afraid I might have hurt her. She seemed, she seemed like a, a, a lot, actually. She's she's a princess after all. It's very fancy. I mean I get nervous around women already. Uh, not not you women are. Uh, I very much like you women up uh, woman uh, women ah uh, because you're my friends i've worked with you for a couple of days but this is a this is royalty it's a royal babe woman princess <laughs> so i was just kind of laughing at this point what, what is happening here Trance ian has never talked to a woman not in the party before Trance is gonna throw her hands in the air and just start, start walking down the street going you're all ridiculous so I'm gonna have Isaac chime in and say, "It's too bad she only took your hand." I I I was thinking like maybe I could play a song or something while she was there. He seems like completely unfazed by the fact that she was a royalty. Well, if you want to play a song for her next time we see, perhaps you practice stuff by that wonderful artist, Lady Taylor of House Swift. Who? <laughs> <laughs> So he's not the most smart, but he's definitely, you know, he, he knows enough. Uh, hey, I've, I've never heard of her. Trans. His art is walking. Rebel tries to catch up. Does the princess have a boyfriend? Is she available? I think I know somebody who might be interested. Sure, yeah. just, well, just ignoring you. <laughs> Anyone who wants to know whether or not she has a boyfriend, roll history. Oh, brilliant. Ian, oh, that's hilarious. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm also kind of curious now that I'm thinking about it. No, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm kind of curious too. <laughs> I mean, I'm just curious. Like, oh, wow, night one. <laughs> Ian has no clue. How do I know nothing? <laughs> You're too upset to even consider it. <laughs> That's about. So, Rebel doesn't even care. I'm not even rolling. <laughs> I, just want, I, I think it's only concerned after he heard it. That's all. Kalos and Isaac, you're aware that Princess has suitors, but you're not sure if any of them have actually uh, stuck around. She actually mentioned suitors too. Yeah. Well, yeah, if that's the case, then I don't know, like, 100%. I wouldn't say anything, probably. Because I don't, you know, I don't want to incur the wrath of Lady Trance here. She's <laughs> very protective of our of our princess. She had to work with the king for, like, 20 years as a member of court. She's probably dealt with the princess one or two times, and she's not thrilled. I would say you have. Well, actually... How how long ago was it that you were doing this? Oh, uh, let's see. It, she started working for the King of Roar about four years after the war bro after the spire exploded. So, I how long ago was that? Let me see. Four years after. Hmm. After. So that'd be about uh, seventeen years ago. She's been working for for the king for like seventeen years. 
Hmm. In which case, you've probably seen her. <laughs> yeah. That she, makes, I would hope so. She's a bit young, but uh, I would say within 17 years, yeah, you've seen her the whole time. Because she is not... <laughs> She's not under 17. I was wondering that, like, would she recogni- have recognized Treance? Hey, Treance? Uh, maybe. She did. She, did. she, she, did. she, did. she didn't focus on her. <laughs> That's good enough. I just was curious. Treance is also wearing her armor and not her courtly attire, so she looks different. Hmm, That's true. So Ian's just going to be following behind Lady Treance, very nervously shuffling his cards. I've always wondered, Ian. You don't hmm? have a home, do you? You tend uh, to sound a bit strange. I haven't had a home in many years. Usually I just sleep in a bedroll. Well... I do have a few vacant slots in my house if you're willing to pull guard duty every so often. Oh, thank Christ, thank you. What's a Christ? Um, I mean crust, like your pizza crust. What's a pizza? (laughs) (laughs) You're not... I I will rule pizza exists in this world. Hooray! Can can Ocello's Palace be a pizzeria? (laughs) <laughs> yes, it, it can have pizza. Yes, it's canon. Not, oh, not having pizza in a fantasy world is acceptable, but it's also a crime. What kind of fantasy <laughs> would it really be? I wouldn't <laughs> say it would be a crime. I'd say it's like rarely made. Would it be like pineapple on pizza sort of crime, or is it like a regular? What, what you take when I say back. that uh, when I say it'd be a crime, I'm saying it'd be a crime to not have pizza in a given fantasy world. I mean, it. it's possible because to make it. They just probably didn't know how to make it before, that's all. A world yeah. without pizza is a sad one. That brings up the thought, what kind of absurd ingredients are on these pizzas? I would start thinking that same thing, too. <laughs> like, I want to know. I'm going to see if I can make a list for that. Not cheese. Albert. Mmm, Albert bacon. Revenge That's for the cool. parties that were killed. Anything, if Halbert is anything like real bear, it's going to have some funky aftertaste. Is it bear or is it poultry? Who knows? <laughs> it's, oh. it's like a mystery meat. It's beef, probably. Depends on what kind of bear you kill. Grizzly bear sucks, but uh, black bear probably uh, tastes really good because of the, the uh, fruit and stuff that they eat. Hmm. Oh. is good. Pizza is a very likely thing to happen in this world, I imagine, but it would be one of the newer recipes. What, what do you think? Like something that's just recently discovered? Probably. Hmm. Right? She is offering uh, uh, any place to stay, or if you want to chime in. Yeah. Yeah. So while you're while while we're discussing the merits, of looking for a pizzeria around us, um, where where do you where live, anyways? I live outside of town. I live outside the city walls. I am yeah. the wife of the guard commander's son. I am Lady Treon Sejukarn, wife of... What was his name? Hold on, I gotta look up her husband's name. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta <laughs> get my news out. Hold on. Hey, you took, you took a few hits, it's okay. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> uh, oh, one moment. Uh, Revalian Be- Revalian Belmont is her husband's name. Hmm. I am the wife of Sir Revalian Belmont, a lesser lord of the city. We live hmm. outside, though. We live outside. Evidently, we are no longer a massive noble house. We used to live just north of Prill, but after this whole fiasco exploded, we've had to re- relocate here. Oh, Prill. I think I know where that is. I mean, well, you got like a, it's a big house, like what, west of the city? It's not terribly large. It's a bit of a rundown manor. Not a whole lot there. You got me, my two, you got me, my husband, my two guards, and the cook. 
Well, it's, no. it's it's quite a nice offer of you to put me up there. Oh, the gods, and I literally hope with a bit of magic. Evidently, it's not terribly important. Evidently, it's just an empty house. Some more company would be nice. Well, you'll have it with me. There are two rules. Keep out There's been? The, the two rules are to keep out the ruffians and not to enter my workshop. You will not like what you find, and nor will what finds you. What's in the workshop? You gotta tell us. I mean, you can't just say that and not tell us. What's in the workshop? She calls out the reverse psychology. You want us to go in the workshop, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Last year, lots of these, some of them moving around on their own. Although none of them are particularly harmful, there are. Well, there's one that I'm still working on. As. You say, it. Did you say like by itself? Yes, it moves by itself. It's somewhat autonomous. It's knowledge I've acquired in my research of, of studying Primus. The God of Clockworks. Well, I didn't know you were going to be throwing SAT, you know, words at us here. Um, what what does that mean? Yeah, you've got a blank stare from the knoll as well. Trians looks at you guys and he's like, I suppose it's easier to show you. Oh God, are you going to try and invade my mind? I'm going to like... No, you're coming to my house, I suppose. <laughs> oh. Wait, right. Before or after we go see Garen? Yeah. And can we get some pizza? I'm really hungry. I feel like after. Okay, how about this? We'll go see Garen, we'll get pizza, and we'll go to my house. Deal. Good stuff. Okay. Alright, onward. <laughs> Two pizza. No, wait, Garen first. Then pizza. Or both. You make it to a. RHA headquarters, and uh, you find Giran in his office. He looks like he's just packing up, ready to go home. Hello, boss. Oh, hey. Uh, I heard about what happened in the bazaar. Uh, you guys were involved, apparently. I. Ah, uh, we we uh, didn't end up finding this Wint guy. But we did end up killing at least half of the escaped convicts that left. Because, yeah, we, uh, like, yeah. Wow. We, we, we stopped a riot. We saved the bazaar. We killed some creep. No, actually, we did not kill him. Oh, we should have asked him questions when he woke up. We, uh, uh, we, con- we arrested a... He arrested someone who was planning to take the princess for himself. Likely in a devious manner. Yeah. And within an really the army made of these convicts. Rather organized. Uh, from what I could tell, they were all under an enchantment spell. Wow. Uh, where'd the enchantment spell come from? We're not quite sure yet. Still investigating that. We'll inform you when we have more de- when we have more information. Well, that's that's great. Um well how about uh Hmm. No. I suppose... I suppose, uh... While, uh... You guys, uh... Only got so far into... In, uh... You know... The reason why you guys were in the prison in the first place... Um... You guys certainly... Went above and beyond... When, uh... Things got dangerous. So, I'll have to commend you guys for that. I'll... I'll be sure to pay you guys for that. Maybe... Maybe give you a reward as well. Well, that's very kind of you. And I'd like to see that this lad here, I'm going to put my hand on Isaac's shoulder, he's quite the asset. Hmm. Yeah, she did quite a bit. She's very useful. His jokes need some work. I mean, I'm not very good at but... Like you I say, I'm very good at myself, right. right? Well, uh, you can work on your jokes on your own time. But, uh, yeah... We can uh, take whatever information you guys manage to get 
from uh, your interrogations and pass it on to the, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, someone who can uh, look into it further. Yeah, I'll give him my notes. Uh, do you know anybody with sunken green eyes and uh, a leg injury? There's Actually, that's the second person. That's Marcus. So Marcus, the guard we have a problem with, and um, Nosferatu. I don't know who Nosferatu is, but uh, I'll take note of the whole Marcus thing. That's it. Um, now, yeah, uh, that's as far as we got. Cool. I'll uh, I'll send you guys some money, and uh, maybe something else for one of you. And uh, after that, uh, I'll get you guys another job. How does that sound? That sounds wonderful. A few days of work on my contraptions would be nice. All right, that sounds great. So, I'll see you guys some other time. I'll, I have to get going. I want I chime in real quick. It's like, uh, thanks a lot for introducing me to them. Ah, no problem. I've had tons of fun and some not fun parts too, but who counts those? <laughs> it's really positive. <laughs> Oh, you, you sweet summer child, or, or whatever that thing says. You remind me a great deal of my late son, although you'll have more energy than he ever did. That's, that's very nice of you, I guess. All right, then. See ya. And then I think kind of just waves to them and says, take care. All right. Yeah. Yeah, we need to get some food. I'm starving. Yeah, let's go. I'm hey, you guys can go and get yourself some pizza. Hell yeah. Trias is like the grandmother spoiling her grandkids. <laughs> 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 so here's a question. Since um, Isaac is a bard, does that whole um, them playing for a, a restaurant thing and they get the free free rooms thing come into play, or is that just not... I don't see why not. You can, I suppose, you can play for a discount at least. A discount works. That's that's fine. You should probably ask in advance, but yeah, yeah? I, I, of course, you're gonna ask in advance. He, but like you know, he always does that. I'm just saying. Like, With that, you guys can uh, relax for a bit, and then you can. Get home just fine. Yeah, once, so you guys, yeah. once you guys wake up, uh, you each receive uh, a letter. Quick question Is that a short rest or a long rest? Long rest. Oh, okay. thank God. Are we going to Trians's place tonight as well, or did we just have too much pizza and decided to take a rain check? Uh, I think we're going to Trians's. Oh. Mm-hmm. Where yeah. we get? You guys are going to go to my place, and you just see these two guards standing out front. You see one is a grizzly, old-looking bugbear who is fairly well-built, and you see he's holding with him this massive, crude-looking long, uh, crude-looking greatsword. And the other is this young half-elf with red hair and no eye color. It's like, he looks like he's blind, but he sees you directly. Uh, so all, all three, of, all of you guys directly, and he's the one who speaks first. He's holding a spear, by the way. Your Majesty, it is a, pl- it is a pleasure, or not, Your Majesty? Uh, your Grace. It's a pleasure. A lady. A lady, yeah. They, they, they call her boss, so. Mm. So these are my two guards. This here was at one point the elite commander of my army, back when I was still in my home. And this is a new hire, a nephew, actually. Rebel's going to hide her face, I think from the bugbear who is the commander of the army. (laughs) The bugbear is looking at you very very interestingly. Uh, Well, she got a... Boss, you got a uh, 
no for me. And she won a Damon Award. Very young looking. Anyways, like I was saying before, um, you each receive a letter. Inside of that letter is 50 gold pieces. Oh, wonderful. Uh, there's a letter inside say, from Kieran saying that that's, that's your payment for the job. You earned a little extra because of uh, helping quell the riot. Also, Lady Trance? Yes? You receive a package. A parcel? What? Is it a large package? Yeah, it's pretty, it, it's, it's pretty big. It, uh, it looks like a, it contains something a bit long. Okay. You, uh, you can open it up. I'm doing so. Inside, you find a letter from Garen. It says, to, to my favorite gunslinger, Made with love in Spester. Inside, you find a musk. Oh, yes. Yo. The first thing I'm doing is I am loading it. I'm going outside and I'm shooting the target. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to. It is much louder than her handgun. You're gonna make him roll to attack. <laughs> Let's see if he actually hits. Uh, it's just a d20 plus uh two, so. Oh no, it's plus my dex. Well, it's a d20 plus four. Yeah, I think I hit it. Oh yeah. Well, I should hope you do. Marvelous. This design is so much larger, but also so much sleeker than the last one. I could definitely make some improvements here. But if I could provide a little scope that could just uh, let me see further. What if I could add another barrel? Probably should take this one apart and investigate this barrel first. Let's see, let's see, let's see. And she's just going to spend her time staring at it. <laughs> I'll just listen to her mumbling to herself. She's like, I'll do this. It's like... I don't know, I just not know what the heck she's talking about. Uh, out of curiosity, do we level? Because if we do, I can attach something else to this. Hmm. I'm sort of debating in my head whether or not you guys level up. I would... eh. oh, yeah, uh, all of this 50 gold. I would say after what you guys did, hmm. That's tough. Tech, we did defeat this big night guy. Well, you can always decide that after we finish recording. Like, it takes more time to think about it. Sure. That that sounds like a good idea. By the way, so in her, so she does lead you into, uh, she does go into a workshop and pull out one thing. You see this arm. You see this big brass arm-looking thing, and at the turn of a small gear, you see a hand. You see that it move on its hinge. This is a clockwork. It's still a work in progress, like the rest of the things in my workshop. And no, none of you are allowed inside. Things like this are in here, and some of them are a little violent. She goes back and closes and locks the door. All right, then. With that, I'd say that's everything that uh, can be accomplished this session. Fabulous. All right. Yeah. I mean, that pizza was really hard to take down, but I feel like we, you know, we really came together and just, like, destroyed it. And that really was really, really good teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that up, guys. And Isaac helped by giving them some music to listen to. All right. I'll try and copy him, but, it, you know, we'll see what happens. We'll be back so some other time. Uh, same time next week. Uh, hopefully, uh, Things will go as well as they did uh, this time. 
because uh you know things things could have gone better but all things considered things went pretty well absolutely i appreciate the joke that was made in the roll 20. <laughs> Um, did I hear correctly? There was a fifty gold reward, or was was there something yes. extra? Fifty okay. each. Okay, cool, cool. Fifty each. Good okay. stuff. I got my musket. I'm happy. Yep. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching the four D four plus one session two. Stay tuned for next week.